Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Look at all those twos. And today we're playing an MCU setup based on Spider-Man Homecoming, a game where most of the heroes in the hero deck cost two, and this was not planned, but it just worked out beautifully. So, welcome, welcome. This is also the first MCU setup where there's actually an expansion designed for this film, this project. Uh, there is Marvel Studios Phase 1, but those are copies of the core set. This is the first time. It's lining up perfectly, so this is going to be interesting today. Hello, hello! And I know some people are just here. Yeah, off the cuff, really had to uh, work hard to find a setup for this. You'll see. You'll see some of the things are kind of a stretch, you know? But uh, cut out some slack. I'm going to start the prediction right now because I know some people are waiting for that. So I'm going to do that right now. In case you guys want to put your guess in. Was so planned. It was not. I thank you for the gifted sub, AS Miller. Appreciate that. No, I um, what I, I didn't calculate what day it was going to be today when I started doing the MCU setups, and uh, I think there's a week. No, I didn't miss a week. But uh, exactly, off the cuff puts in a tons of, tons of work. Uh, full honesty, um, full disclosure. Yeah, ton of work goes into all these setups. This one may have been a little easy, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and show you what the setup is today. All right, Spider-Man Homecoming 2017, here we go. Most of the cards are from Spider-Man Homecoming, of course. Um, I, by the way, I've de-skinned my cards to make it more movie accurate, you'll see. Uh, we've got Scavenge Alien Weaponry as our scheme, duh. We've got Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming as our mastermind, duh. We're gonna be using the two Spider-Man Homecoming villain groups. The henchmen, we're using both henchmen because of the scheme. And these, uh, there's no henchmen in this set, so we're using Hellfire Cult for the masked men robbing the bank. The ones that were dressed up like the Avengers, I guess. And then uh, Magia Goons as Criminal Riff Raff of New York. And the Magia Goons are going to be our smugglers. We'll get to that in a second. Um, off the cuff, I don't know if you had an idea of which one should be the smugglers, but I think it should be the Magia Goons, is my opinion. And then, of course, the heroes. We're using Spider-Man and Iron Man from the core set, but also Peter Parker Homecoming, high-tech Spider-Man, and Peter's allies from Spider-Man Homecoming. Think about if this day... I, I de-skin them just for this just for this game. I'll, I'll, I'll put them back. And it's only a few different cards. If this day landed right at the end a No Way Home release. Yeah, I guess. That would have been interesting. And we're using all the support cards you see here. This setup is uploaded and all that. The uh, predictions are up. So if you do want to put that prediction in, go for it. Okay, let me get these twos out of the way because we have a masterminded scheme to go over. So many twos. We're going to see a lot of twos today. All right, so our mastermind, of course, and I've de-skinned these, is Vulture. Vulture has Striker, which means he gets plus one attack for each Master Strike that's been played. So it's best to hit him early if I can, but I don't always have that option. Which this other two should be here, <laughs> at least. Yeah, that's a good point. Off the cuff decided against using Happy since he doesn't do much in the film. It's mostly a Peter Parker and Tony Stark show for sure, so that makes a little sense. Uh, okay, always leads Vulture Attack, Master Strike, put a wound from the wound stack below each HQ space as a winged assault. Whenever a player gains or KOs a hero from the HQ, the player on their right gains one of the wounds below that HQ space. So I'm going to be dealing with a lot of wounds today. And then our scheme is Scavenge Alien Weaponry, 7 twists, at an extra henchman group of 10 cards as smugglers. Those are going to be the Magia Goons. Street riffraff, you know, special rules, smugglers have striker, just like the mastermind does. Twist, play two cards from the villain deck. Evil wins, as you can see down here, when three villains per player have escaped, or when the villain deck runs out. And if the villain deck's getting close to running out, I'll let you know, but uh, it might be a while. There is an extra group, but we do have to play two cards every time a twist happens. So I'm hoping those twists are buried down pretty far. Uh, okay, you saw the setup, so go ahead and put your predictions in while I give everything a courtesy shuffle. And uh, we can get started. This week is randomizer number 68, I believe. And then on Saturday is the viewers play unique versus variance game. I have revealed to the individuals in the viewers play chat what the first couple of bits of the setup are going to be. And they have some guesses. I've seen some guesses in the private chats as well. So I will be revealing the rest of the setup tomorrow and Thursday. And then they're going to play it on Saturday. There is still time for you to join if you are a Twitch subscriber or a hero or villain in the Discord by collecting booster packs. 
you should be able to see the viewers play channel. You can pick a team there and still get on a team. Even if you can't play on the Saturday game 2 p.m. Pacific, you can help them design their strategy for the game. So feel free to join at any time, even during the game. You can join during the game as far as I'm concerned. Uh, all right. Got a couple of booster packs opened. Uh, astigmatic, uh, astigmatic Oracle just got a uh, roll. Um, did you... Yeah. Did you pick a team? I, I think you already did because you're already a subscriber, I believe. All right. Giving the villain deck a shuffle. Uh, we did find out that the team variants have uh, significantly fewer people than Team Unique. So if you want to join a team and you're, if you're looking for a team that doesn't have a lot of people right now, it is Team Variants, but you can choose either one you want. <laughs> team Unique. Awesome. That's what I thought. Should be interesting. You both ended up with some good heroes. All right. I got the starting hands ready. Everything's set. Let's go ahead and put the Mastermind down there. We're going to have to get a die for him because he will increase attack with Striker. It's going to happen. So, last chance to put your predictions in because I am about to reveal the HQ. Hey, Mr. Giraffe is down to eight or a little, little less than 9,000 HP. That's 18 subs left. So, 17. Until he's out of here, at least for now. <laughs> it took a while. Uh, okay, predictions, predictions. Wow, Cerberin with two gifted subs. No, one, what is it? One, no, this is, you've, you've gifted two subs. This is another gifted sub to Ask Medic Oracle. Thank you so much. Super cool of you. Team Uniques are the best, though, says A.S. Miller. You just you just took down Mr. Draft HP a little more. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're at 42 of our subs to our 50 goal for a February, for a March Chaos Mode stream. I think we're going to get there. All right, let me go ahead. We've got seven. It's a seven to one. Wow. The lose is a big underdog today. Only one person said lose and didn't put that many points towards it. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to end that in just a moment. One more second for you guys. Is there anything else I can tell you? I don't know. Uh, don't forget, uh, Upper Deck Stream, by the way, is every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific. Whether they're going to announce anything or not, I have no idea, but I always tune in I, when, I, when I can to try to you know, be there just in case. And so say hello if you go there. All, you put all your points towards it. Wow. Okay. Well, I will try to do, do, uh, do, you, do you proud. Um, obviously, this is a Spider-Man deck, so I'm probably going to do one side that is just spiders, and the other side is going to be miscellaneous. I'll, however, um... Some of the cards in Spider-Man Homecoming don't always rely, only rely on the two-cost mechanics, so they can work with Tony Stark, high-tech Spider-Man, for example. You, it's, it's Stark tech, so it makes sense. All right, ending submissions right now. That's been enough time. There. All right. They will get a big pad if I lose. So, Striker could get out of hand. The Spiders could not work, but we'll see. All right, hero deck. Here we go. We're starting with Spider-Man's Great Responsibility from Core. We've got Something is Happening. Is this his rare? I think it's his rare. Uh, P Peter Parker Homecoming's rare... We've got uh, Beacon Drone Connection High Tech Spider Man. We've got Advanced Targeting System High Tech Spider Man. And then we've got Liz from Peter's Allies. I told you I'd de skin these. So let's find out what happens. We got all our stats correct. I got my starting hands. I think we're ready to go. Let's play some Spider Man Homecoming. Let's do it. Okay, we've got... Oh, we've got the elusive rare 4 and 2, 4 attack, 2 recruit. I shuffled the villain deck a ton. We're probably still going to end up with the scheme twist at the beginning because you know how my games go. Yep, totally, 100%. There's literally nothing I can do about it. It just keeps happening, no matter how much I shuffle. So, here we go. Twist, play 2 cards in the villain deck. Let's do it. Here we go. Never fails. Uh, first card is another scheme twist. This is a chain. Second card is Hellfire Cult. So Hellfire Cult go in. And now we have to do uh, the Scheme Twist effect. Play two more cards in the villain deck. Here we go. One, Master Strike, which we'll get to. <laughs> and then... A... <laughs> Are you guys feeling confident about that win? Are you guys feeling confident about that? Alright, let's do this in order. Let's do this in order. I did cut the deck. I absolutely did. Maybe cutting the deck was a mistake. Alright, Master Strike first. <laughs> Then Scheme Twist. Starting off with some Striker. Here we go. I needed the challenge. I have the spiders. Okay, put a wound from the wound stack below each HQ space as a winged assault. Whenever a player gains or KOs a hero from the HQ, the player on the right gains one of those wounds. Before I do any recruits, we got some winged assaults. Starting strong. Starting very strong. Alright, one. 
It's not like there's 11 twists in this deck anyway. There's an extra villain group too, so I don't know what is going on. Whoops, that's the wrong way. So we're just going to do it like this. We're going to tuck them underneath towards the bottom. Four wounds and five wounds. Fun. So we've got a wound under each hero. And that's great news. All right. The second card I played for that scheme twist was another scheme twist that was going to change two more card draws. What is he doing here? Oh, that's the mastermind. Yep, that's why. All right, so scheme twist. Once again, play two cards in the villain deck. Here we go. First one, Magia Goons. Second, Hellfire Cult. All right, it does end, and it's a bunch of henchmen. Whew. Well, that was a big first turn. How many cards did I play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in turn one. That doesn't seem great. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. All right. We've got the Hellfire Cult. Fight reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. Otherwise, you get plus one recruit. Followed by the Magia Goons, the Street Riff Raff, right? Bri they have Bribe and they have Striker. And they have Fight, KO one of your heroes. So because they have Striker and because Vulture has Striker, they all need to gain an attack. Let's do that. How was that for a first turn? For a first villain deck draw? I haven't even taken my turn. Yeah, that was a good thing to see. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, this should go to show you that I do not arrange the villain deck ahead of time. It's as new to me as it is to you. Otherwise, I would not have done that on purpose. Okay. At least I can fight something. I got four attack. And I can bribe the Magoons if I want to. So we got two recruit, four attack. Bribe means you can spend any combination of recruit and attack to fight something. So I could spend five to take them out, four attack and one recruit. But I can take spiders, so I probably don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and hit a Hellfire Cult. Let me take the one, uh, hit the one on the rooftops. They uh, will let me KO a card. I know the top card costs zero. So let's fight them for three, and then we'll take a spider. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. I lose an agent, which means I'm going to have to do a reshuffle after this. Uh, perfect. So they are gone. All right, now with my two recruit, I can take a spider. What do we got? I'm going to have to pass a wound over because I did get a strike already. We've got almost all the cards are two cost for this uh, two, 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 two day. We've got great responsibility, one attack, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card costs two or less, draw it. Perfect for a spidey deck. We've got the rare here, and this is a tempting one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I do have to claw my way out because, oh man, that was a great start. All right, see you later. Thank you for the setup. Again, great effort on this one. <laughs> Something is happening. Wall crawl, again, which means you can put it to the top of your deck when you recruit it. It's optional. Coordinate, which means you can discard this card to play a copy of it on the other person's team when it's their turn. Danger sense four. If you revealed any scheme twist, you may shuffle the villain deck. Well, I've already played three of them. But uh, this still seems good. Danger Sense means uh, I get to look at the top four cards of the villain deck, and uh, I get plus one attack for every villain that I reveal, which is great. I think I'm going to take that one, but let me just go ahead and take a look at what else I've got. I've also got uh, Recon Drone Connection, Wall Crawl, Danger Sense 3. Almost as good as Danger Sense 4, but not as good. We've also got Advanced Targeting System, High Tech Spider-Man. Reveal a top card of your deck if it costs two or less to draw it. Again, good for a Spidey deck. But I'm going to go ahead and take that rare... And uh, I'm going to wall crawl it so it goes to the top of my deck and I will draw it as the first card I will draw <laughs> at the end of the turn. Okay, turns over. Feels like it feels like that took uh, an hour. And because I wall crawled it, I don't have to reshuffle. Even though I KO'd a card from my deck. Alright, are we going to end up with another annoying chain for turn two? Okay, we have a traditional four and two this time. What do we got? Turn two. Turbine Powered from Vulture Tech. He's releasing his tech. It's got Striker. Ambush. Turbine Powered captures a bystander. Let's do that first. Standard bystander. Then move this villain to the rooftops. If there's a villain already there, swap them. So it looks like these smugglers, Magia Goons, swap with Vulture Tech Turbine Powered. And because it has Striker, it gets plus one. So it is five to hit. Six to hit. Five plus one. I know numbers. And I can't hit anything this turn. I've got four recruit. And two attack, which I'm not even going to play because I don't have anything to hit for four. For two. Okay, so if this is not the Spider-Man side. Oh, I didn't refill. Oh, I forgot to do the, the mechanic. Sorry, this is the beginning of the game. Let me uh, refresh everybody, including myself. 
So that is the mastermind ability. So when I took uh, Spider-Man, what I should have done is I recruited a hero. It gained. Uh, recruiting means you gain it, but you pay for it. So I gained it. Um, the player on your right gains one of the wounds below that HQ space. So this one's going to go to the discard pile on this side, the right hand. Which wouldn't affect my draw this turn, and I would have a refill. Oh, hey, cool. We've got an Iron Man. That's perfect. So now that we've fixed the HQ situation, I got four recruit. I'm going to go ahead and take Endless Invention. Because uh, this triggers with tech cards. And there's cards like uh, Recon Drone Connection that don't need to draw... That don't only draw two cost cards. So this one will work decently with an Iron Man deck. Give me Danger Sense and it will provide a tech trigger for Endless Invention. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit Endless Invention because he's still helping out Peter at this point in the MCU. And there's another one. And I don't have to put a wound on the other side because I got rid of that one already. So as long as I can keep recruiting from this spot, I'll be okay. How are you feeling about that lose prediction, whoever did that? Oh, that was off the cuff. <laughs> Putting all the points towards lose. So we'll see. See if it works out for him. Once again, if you'd like to see all of off the cuff's MCU setups, I've played every single one up to this point. Uh, you can go ahead and type in Command MCU to look at that. And uh, let me know how it goes in the Discord when you play one of them. Some of them are really tough. Here we go. Uh, another Goons. They have Striker once again. They're working for the Vulture, so of course they have Striker. And again, they do have Bribe, which I have to remember. But they do cost five right now. And they're only going to get more tough because every Master Strike I play increases their attack by one. Well, I do have the rare. Something is happening. Peter Parker Homecoming. I've got Coordinate, which I could have used last turn, but I didn't. Uh, I'll just play it now. Danger Sense 4. Let's see if I reveal a Scheme Twist. Top 4 of the villain deck. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't want to reveal too many, so the rest have to go back. Okay. Top 4 are... Okay, I got one Scheme Twist. If this revealed any Scheme Twist, you may shuffle the villain deck. Because there's a Master Strike and a Scheme Twist, I will reshuffle this. But first, because of the two villains, I get two attack for the Danger Sense. And uh, these are going to get shuffled back in. Watch you make it worse and draw all the twists now. Okay, so I'm only going to get two attack this turn, though. But at least I got a reshuffle. That's nice. I can't hit anything for two, but I can recruit for five. I can take two spiders. I, I should probably save Recon Drone Connection for the side that doesn't have the two-cost draw mechanic. And I would love to take this Liz card, but I need more recruit. But at the same time, I don't really want to take any shield officers. So hopefully the uh, core Spider-Man card that gives me recruit comes up. I haven't seen it yet, though. Okay, that's Shuffle. Let's play all five of my Recruit. And we're going to take the ones that care about two costs, because those are the ones that will work over here. Starting with the Spider-Man from the core set. Um, this is basically like Advanced Targeting System, but this one gives you one attack instead of drawing a second card with a superpower. So let's Recruit Great Responsibility for two. Turn it down to three. We have to put this wound on the other side, unfortunately. So hopefully I can draw these all at once, get rid of them all. And, alright, we've got an Iron Man, not for this side. I'm going to go ahead and take the Advanced Targeting System. Let's just flush all the uh, two-cost mechanic Spideys into this deck. Reveal the top two top card of your deck if it costs two or less. Draw it. I'm going to need some Covert to make this work, but uh, maybe another one of these will pop up. And the Wound also goes to the right-hand side. That's getting all the Wounds. And we've got another Iron Man. Okay, cool. Arc Reactor. That's a great one if I'm trying to go tech, which I am. I could have bribed, uh, of course, but uh, I chose not to. I'll save that for the last minute. I want to build up some spiders so I can do something. And I just revealed a couple of cards for the right-hand side, so that wasn't so bad. I'm going to have a 4 and 2, so I can't take Arc Reactor. And uh, neither of those had Wall Crawl, right? Right? I'm just double-checking. Yeah, neither of those had Wall Crawl. So, I didn't miss that. Recon Drone does. Next hand, I got the rare again. Okay, I got some decent attack there. Given I draw a good uh, Danger Sense. But let's see if I can do something to clear the city this turn. Uh, I got two attack, of course. So I could, I'm going to have to bribe if I want to clear a spot in the city. 
Turn four gives us another goon. All right, so I have a full city. I really do not want this bystander to be carried off. Also, when villains escape, that counts against the evil wind, so I'm going to bribe this turn. Let me go ahead and spend my four recruit and my two attack to bribe one of these goons. Uh, let's go ahead and bribe the one on the rooftops for five. So it's going to cost me two of my attack and three of my recruit. And they have fight. KO one of your heroes. I'm going to KO an agent. And luckily, I don't have an escape next turn. Probably. I, a scheme twist could play two cards. And that could still cause an escape. Hey, Mr. Giraffe, there you are. Cutting down your own HP, I think. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. And that's your year. Wow, I appreciate it. Thank you for the Prime sub specifically. I just noticed. Welcome and thank you. You missed my first turn. You would have loved it. I think, what was the order of the first turn? I don't know what the order was. All I know is my first turn played seven cards from the villain deck before I got to do anything. So that was a little nuts. Unless you were here and saw it. Otherwise, I'll shut up. Okay, so I have potentially three. Three attack plus my danger sense. Let's see what we get. I just hope it's not a twist. Okay, it's another goon. So let me give them their proper attack once again. They're all at five because of the one attack from Striker. Let's see how much attack I can get. Starting with... Uh, I probably want to play Great Responsibility, but I'm going to play the rare first. Something is happening. Let's Danger Sense 4 once again. This is a great card to have. 1, 2, 3, 4. We get... Alright, we get 4 attack. No reshuffle, so we know that there's not some uh, Scheme Twist coming up. But this is good. So, uh, I get to put these back in whatever order I want. I have Prime, but I don't know how to get it working. No, um, if you have Prime and you're linked to your... If you're logged in to your Twitch account with your Amazon account, I think, you get one free Prime sub a month. They have to be linked, and I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but uh, that is how you do it. Hellfire Cult of the Weakest One. So they're going on top. It should, but I think, for whatever reason, the account he donated with and the account he subscribes with are different, so he takes down his own HP. But um, if you use the same account, it'll add. But uh, for some reason, it doesn't. Uh, that's, that's not the first time he's done that, so uh, I don't know why. But uh, that's, that's my running theory. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the hybrid alien tech also has... Striker. So I'm going to put the goons on top because they're easier to fight with bribes. So Hellfire Cult, goons, goons, and then the alien tech. Yeah. That would be cool if you could. I always appreciate the Prime sub because, uh, you know, it's, it's free with your Amazon Prime subscription. And you can give it to any streamer. So if you spend it on me, that is a great honor. And I really do appreciate that. It means a lot. All right. Uh, two more attack from the troopers. Six. And then, great responsibility. Let's see how I do. One attack. Top card of my deck is two or less. I think all my cards are, so I draw it. And that gives me three recruit. Okay, so I can spend exactly, that's backwards, seven attack and three recruit to take out two Magia Goons. Bribe one and then fight one. It's the variance of Giraffe. That is true. Or I could fight the Turbine Powered for six. But then I can't take out two things. So I should probably, because I don't want to lose to the evil winds condition, I should probably take out two goons. So let's spend, let's start by spending five straight up attack and we'll actually punch one uh, without having to bribe him at all. We'll fight the one on the rooftops for five attack straight up. And once again, KO one of your heroes. I will get rid of the shield agent. I'm only taking two costs, so those aren't as important. The first one is gone for five. The second one, I'm going to spend three recruit and two attack to bribe. Bribing these guys with striker feels about right for having them being vultures goons. So again, I will KO one of my heroes. Another shield agent. And they are gone as well. Just like that, I have two city spaces available. I can't recruit anything, but I'm going to avoid losing at least faster than I already would have. And I opened up some opportunities to recruit. However, if you look at this hand, uh, I've got a wound. So that's going to hurt what I'm trying to do. So we know what the next four cards are. This first one is the Hellfire Cult. Again, these are the fake Avengers robbing the bank. I love that scene. 
All right, fight, reveal a top card of your deck if it costs zero, KO it, or you get one recruit if that's not the case. They get no bonuses, which is nice. Let's Endless Invention to draw one card for now until I can get some tech cards, which I should be able to get this turn. Unless I want to bribe, I draw a Shield Agent. Once again, I'm faced with the option to bribe. I've got uh, two attack and three recruit. Let's just say I've played everything, and that's what I've got. Two attack, three recruit. I could bribe the goons, or I could uh, take a recon drone connection, but then the rest of the attack's going to go nowhere. So... I don't want to keep bribing too much because I am going to not have cards in my deck to use. Right side only has two attacks, so the left side, I mean. Left side's going to bribe again. I could just keep bribing, but then I'm just going to run out the clock. I know the next card is a goon. Alright, I'm going to have to bribe again. I spend five. I take them out. And I KO one of my cards. One of my heroes. I wish it was cards so that I can get rid of the wound. Uh, but I can't. Gotta hit Vulture. I'm not doing a very good job of trying to hit him before all the Striker happens. But I am hitting the Goons before all the Striker happens. But Vulture Tech also... Vulture Tech also has it. Um, oh, and we have the other villain group in here, too. Alright, turn 7. The next two are Goons. We've already Danger Sensed 4. There again at 5. Once again, I have that same situation. I got a 4 and 2. Four recruit, two attack. Huh. I'm gonna need more attack if I want to hit stuff. So if I were to take a remote, a recon drone connection, nope. Yes, recon drone connection. I could take two of them, and I could wall crawl them both. And I know there's a there's villain cards coming up, which could give me the right attack. So. Yeah, I'm going to break with what I was doing, even though Recon Drone Connection works well with the Tony Stark side. Can the right side hit anything in the city? Yeah, so your signal's working well, huh? Alright, I can bribe over here. There's not much else I can do. So, I'm going to st I'm going to recruit this turn. I'm going to take both Recon Drone Connections. They have no wounds under them. I should probably recruit while I can. Uh, take one, and re refill. Actually, I have two recruit left. Do this in order. I spend two. I recruited it. Ooh, okay. We got Spider Grip. Spider Grip as a wall crawl. By the way, I wall crawl that last one. Thank you, A.S. Miller. Attack, choose two villains in adjacent city spaces. Each one of them gets minus one attack. Oh, this is too good for the Tony Stark side, for the Iron Man side. Ah, I'm gonna save the I'm gonna have to save this for Iron Man. This is too good. Recon Drone Connection has Danger Sense, which works well with what I've already got. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the second one for two, which cost me my last. This wound goes to the right-hand side. Really loading up that Iron Man side with wounds. And we've got, hey, there's Tom. Heightened senses. But that's all I can do here. Okay, I elected not to bribe this turn so I can get some more cards. So I wall crawled both of those. So I should have a decent hand next turn. But I do have to reshuffle. So I'm starting with the two I recruited and wall crawled. Ooh, and I got another one. Although that, I don't have a covert trigger. Heightened senses is going to be my covert trigger for advanced targeting system. But I'm going to need to get that first. So right now, I've got Danger Sense 3, 2 times. Plus a card draw, plus... Okay, so I, I know sometimes it doesn't always give you the option to lower the resolution. But if it does, that's going to work. So I'm glad you're able to do that. I have no knowledge of how mountains interfere with Wi-Fi. That is not my area of expertise. So I will take your word for it. I was saying it was funny that uh, on the one date where every number of the date is a two, I'm playing a Spider-Man Homecoming game with all the two cost cards, and I did not plan for that. Eh, things work out funnily. That is what the locals say. All right, turn eight. There's the goon, and the fourth one's a vulture tech. So if I don't take out a vulture, uh, a goon here for five, I'm going to be uh, faced with an escape this next turn. So again, I'm going to play all five of my points. I get the points, I spend them. I'm going to spend everything I get. I'm not even going to put the dice, dice up. I spend all five to take out the goons and the sewers for five. They're gone. And I have to KO a hero, so we'll get rid of another shield agent. And uh, that's the turn. Yeah, whenever I try... Because some of the streams I watch sometimes don't have... I'm going to get recruit locked if I'm not careful. i got to be careful. Um, some of the streams I try to watch, like, uh, once I tried to watch Upper Deck stream 
on mobile and it wasn't giving me the option to reduce the quality and it was stuttering every five seconds so I had to do audio only. So I, I feel ya. Oh man, this is rough. Right hand side's not doing so well. I gotta start recruiting instead of bribing. It's costing me everything. Okay, and finally we have a Vulture Tech coming in. The last one we know from Danger Sense. I'm gonna Danger Sense again in a second. It's got Striker, so let's get plus one. Fight, KO one of your zero-cost heroes. Escape the current player, reveals a ranged hero, or gains a zero-cost hero from the KO pile. Okay. Don't have any ranged heroes yet. Let's see how much attack I can get. We're going to start with Recon Drone Connection. Hopefully I get some attack from this, otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble. One, two, three. Three cards at the top. And, okay, we get two attack. I'm going to put the Hellfire Cult on top, followed by the Goons, followed by the Strike, I think. I'll rearrange it on the second Danger Sense, if I feel like it. So I get two attack from that. I'm going to get another two attack from Recon Drone, so keep that in mind. Um, advanced Targeting System, let's see what we draw. Top card of my deck is two or less, of course, so I draw it. So, I'm at two attack, three recruit. I play my Trooper for one more attack. Once I play Recon Drone Connection, I'm going to go up to 5 attack. So this turn I can hit something and... Actually, I can hit two things. If I decide to bribe the goons and hit the Hellfire Cult, I can clear two spots. Right hand side is going to do a bunch of nothing. But I do have three recruits, so I can take something. But none of these give me recruits, so maybe I, I think I might have to take an officer. I'm going to get in trouble if I don't. Alright, let's play the other Recon Drone. Let's see if I want to rearrange these top three cards with the second Danger Sense. So let's see. If I do the Strike first, that'll give me a buffer to not have to worry about the city. However, it'll mess up my uh, Recruit and it'll power up everything with Striker. So let's do it in this order. Cult, Goons, Strike. We'll keep it in that order. I get two more attack. So let's see... It's really hurting me to not recruit every turn because I keep bribing these away. But I think I'm going to have to do it. So I'm going to spend three attack to take out a Hellfire Cult slash Bank Robbers. We'll do it. We'll commit. Top card of my deck is a zero cost, so I KO it. And they are gone. Now I bribe for the rest, and I take out these goons, because there is a Master Strike coming. I take them out, and I KO another hero. So again, it's going to be another Shield Agent. I don't want to lose all my recruits, so again, i got to be careful here, too. Alright, I got myself a buffer of one city space. I need more recruit. I need to get that Liz card. That's going to give me all the recruit I need to replace basically two officers worth. But I can't get it yet. I need to get an officer first. I'm going to have to. Okay, turn 10 is going to put in that Hellfire Cult Bank Robbers we've revealed. I've got three recruit. I could rest and get rid of these two wounds. However, if I don't get an officer, I could be in big trouble. So I'm going to get an officer. A Maria Hill. Because I need the recruit. I've already KO'd too much. Now I'm going to fill the city up again. Yes. I don't know. This is not going the way I thought it was going to go. I do get to Danger Sense 4. Oh, I could have coordinated again. Would I have wanted to do that? No, because the Master Strike's not next. I want to do that now after the Master Strike, is, after the villain is pulled. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, turn 11 is going to reveal those goons. And now we get to uh, Danger Sense 4 once again. Let's see what we get. Top four. We got a Master Strike, followed by three villains. Cool. So I did not reveal a Scheme Twist, so I do get three attack. Now, do I want to rearrange these? I finally have uh, the Salvagers, but they all have Striker. But I should probably get them to come out before the Master Strike. So let's go Hellfire Cult, Shocker. No, Razor Talons are... are are weaker, so they're both three. So Hellfire Cult, Razor Talon, Shocker, then Master Strike. But again, if I want to avoid an escape, I'm going to have to clear something. That's three attack. Great responsibility. One more attack, top part of my deck. 
Oh, should I wall crawl first? Let me wall crawl first before I do this. Um, oh, but I don't want to take spider group over here, do I? Well, it doesn't matter. I have to reshuffle anyway. So I'll play my two recruit. I'm going to end up with five, six, seven attack. And I'm going to have a card draw. So I might have enough to bribe anyway and recruit. So let me spend my two uh, to get heightened senses, which is the one I want over here. Let's me draw more cards. Doesn't necessarily give me more recruit, but I'm going to go ahead and take heightened senses for two. Spending that two. And we've got another card. All right, so now I will play Great Responsibility for one more attack, and I shuffle all the cards in my discard pile. Come on, give me something good, please. Give me one of the Spider-Man cards. I'm desperate for those. I need some recruit. Badly. The early KO powers not helped me. Okay, top card of my deck is a trooper. So that's more attack. That's fine. I can hit two things. So I play my three troopers. I'm at eight attack. What do I hit? I'm going to hit a Hellfire Cult because those cost three. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So let's hit the one. There's an escape effect here. Let's go ahead and hit this Hellfire Cult bank robbers. This one for three. Down to five. Top card of my deck. Um, it does not cost zero, so I get one recruit for revealing this. For whatever good that does. And uh, for five, I could take out a goon, or I could take out the alien tech. Let me take a look at this once again. Okay, this fight effect is another KO. Magi goons is another KO. This has a worse escape effect, so I'm going to take out the hybrid tech for five. Because I don't have to bribe them. So we'll take out the alien tech for 5, KO one of your zero cost heroes. I really hesitate to KO any more agents because I'm running out. So I'm going to get rid of a trooper because otherwise I'm not going to be able to recruit anything at all. So a trooper's got to go. And so does the alien tech for 5. Okay. Clear two things, but I'm still behind. Let's see what I get in my next hand. Okay, we're getting a lot of spiders now. As long as I can keep recruiting and KOing, I just need another card that's going to give me recruit. Any of the spider cards that do so would help, but I don't think there's a lot of them. These wounds, man, over here are really hurting me. All right, we danger sense, so we know that this is another Hellfire Cult bank robber. Let's see what Endless Invention draws for me. It's going to draw a uh, trooper. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to play on my two attack. I'm going to play on my two recruit. Only five from Spider-Man core. That's what I thought. There's not a lot. So that's where we're going to get stuck. So what I should do right now is I should recruit because left side can hit something. Um, I'm allowed five escapes. So I can let some go by um, if I need to. I've already KO'd a lot of things or fought a lot of things. So what's best for, for Tony here? Uh, I think it's going to be spider grip. Uh, this can weaken things in the city, making things easier to defeat. Two adjacent city spaces. It can also provide the tech trigger. I've also got homemade web shooters. Wall crawl danger sense one. This is for the bystander rescued it. This is not as good uh, because there's less likely to be a bystander, even though there are two in the deck right now. So let's recruit and wall crawl spider grip. I should have recruited this before I played endless invention, but I didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll use it next turn. We've got two attack, which isn't going to do anything. And that's the turn. All right. There's spider grip, which I get to wall crawl for next turn. That's three attack right now. We'll see if I draw an Iron Man to trigger one of the two techs, whichever one I decide. I do have an officer as well. So if I draw a lot of recruit, that might help me as well. I've taken out so many things, I might just have to let some escapes happen. Because I need to win the game, not just fight everything in the city. Didn't get an Iron Man. That's too bad. I got a total of four attack, two recruit. Here is a little bit of a better hand. I drew both of my recon drones again. Plus, I finally got the covert trigger. Let's go. Turn 13. We already know that's Razor Talons, one of the weaker. I think the weakest card of Vulture Tech. It's got Striker, of course fight the next hero you gain this turn has wall crawl i love how these say gain instead of recruit so this is going to be a three to hit which is not so bad 
Okay, let's start with our Danger Sense 3 so we can set up Danger Sense 2 a little better in case, uh, because I think the Master Strike is two cards down. Anyway, we're going to play Recon Drone Connection. One, two, three. Reveals. Ooh, that is rough. Well, uh, no matter how I slice it, I'm going to get only one attack for each Danger Sense. And the Scheme Twist is going to be impossible to avoid. So I got one attack here. I want to keep Shocker towards the top. Huh. What do I want to do about this? If I, I want the Twist to be last. Because I need to have the City as clear as possible before the Twist comes up and plays two more cards in the Villain deck. So I think I'm going to have to go Shocker, then Strike, then Twist. As much as I would hate to play the Strike. We're going to do that. Um, okay. So that's that. I will play Heightened Senses, which is going to reveal the uh, Villain on the Twist. So I got one attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. Again, should I recruit before I do this? Because then I can uh, draw a wall crawl card. But the only one that's here is Homemade Web Shooters. But I can trigger the Danger Sense 1 with Recon Drone Connection. Yeah, Cerebrin, just for that. That's what I think. But unless I... Or should I save this for the right-hand side? That's, that's the only reason why I wouldn't do it. But there's a lot of other cards that aren't too cost. So I think I'm going to go with Michelle on the right-hand side if I can afford her. Um... I don't have the recruit, unfortunately. So I can only take a two-cost thing. But sidekicks are still a thing. I also can't forget that I could bribe this turn. Otherwise, I no, I'll be able to hit something because I'll have another danger sense. Okay, let's do it. Let's play the two recruit. Before I play heightened senses, I'm going to play my two agents. I'm going to recruit and wall crawl homemade web shooter to the top of my deck. I will commit to taking them on this side. Cool. We got Ned. Hello, Ned. Um, now we'll play Heightened Senses. Heightened Senses gives us that one attack, so I'm at two total attack. Uh, top card of my deck is the one I just wall crawled, so I draw it. Okay. Now, Advanced Targeting System, because I don't think I can recruit anything else. Let's uh, draw two cards. For the top card of your deck, if it costs two or less, draw it, and then Covert, draw a card. Let's see what I get. Top card of my deck is an agent. So I draw that. It's two or less. And then I draw a trooper. So I'm still short one recruit for recruiting something else. But I do get one more recruit. And one more attack. I'm at three. We've also got... I guess we'll play homemade web shooter second so we can activate it. Once again, I only reveal one villain this way. So I got one attack. And then I've got Homemade Web Shooters, which gives me two more attack and Danger Sense 1. Uh, I guess I didn't have... Well, yeah, I get one more attack for that. What is up, Johnny Biscotti? Thank you for the raid. What are you guys playing? Oh, this is actually a clip. <laughs> nice takedown. That, was, that looks fun. I don't know what game that is. That looks a lot of fun. I'm playing some Marvel Legendary Spider-Man Homecoming. So welcome to the stream. If you're new to my channel, I just play a bunch of Marvel Legendary. It is a Marvel deck building game with about 27 expansions and it's a blast. So welcome. All right. Um, so let me just double check my attack. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's accurate. So with my seven attack, how can I maximize what I'm doing? I got one recruit so I could bribe and then hit something else. Because there is a Scheme Twist coming. So I think that's exactly what I should do. I can't recruit anything. So let's fight the goons for uh, four attack. And one recruit. We'll bribe them once. Which is going to give us this fight effect. KO one of your heroes. Oh, again, I hesitate to take out any more agents. I'm so low on recruits. So I'm going to take another trooper out, unfortunately. I only have four agents left, I think. So we're going to get rid of the goons. And with my three attack left, I can take out... Razor Talons are going to get stronger. Uh, so I'm going to take them out while I can. And their fight effect is... The next hero you gain this turn as wall crawl. I'm not going to gain any more recruits, uh, any more heroes, but uh, I'll take them out before they get stronger. Okay. Man, I am just... Uh, I'm not making any progress here. I'm just doing maintenance this whole time. Okay, I have to remember that I have something that's happening. 
with coordinate. So there is a chance I could avoid the scheme twist. Well, actually, I can guarantee shuffle the villain deck again if I coordinate this. So I think I'm going to remember to coordinate something is happening on the next turn. All right, put that on top so I don't forget to coordinate it. So we can avoid the scheme twist a little bit longer. But i got to be careful. If I put all the scheme twists in the bottom, I can lose when I get somewhat close to the bottom of the deck. Although if they're way at the bottom, that'll give me a fighting chance. Okay, turn 14 gives us shocker number one, the last villain before that master strike and scheme twist. He's got striker, escape each player, reveals an instinct hero, or discards a card. So that's going to be a four attack villain, of course. Now, um, what are we going to do? We're going to coordinate. So the left-hand side has... Something is happening on the left-hand side. So to coordinate this, I have to discard it on the left-hand side, play a copy of it on the right-hand side, and then draw another card on the left-hand side. So let's do this. Let's coordinate something is happening. We're going to play a copy of it right now. Top four cards of the deck are... Okay, there's... Ooh, that's disgusting. Two strikes and a twist. I don't think... There's any reason to not shuffle this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the one attack for Danger Sense 4. And this revealed the Scheme Twist, so I will shuffle the Villain deck. Wow. Thank goodness for something is happening. Although I still could draw them all. So we'll see. I can only avoid these so long. Not that much long longer. Everything has Striker except for the Hellfire Cult, I think. Okay. So left-hand side has to discard this and draw. Now, as far as coordinate goes, because I haven't played with coordinate that much, let's say that the left-hand side had no cards in the deck or discard pile, and I coordinated something as happening. Would the left side immediately draw something as happening again, and it could infinitely coordinate that card? Because I haven't come across that in a while. Or ever. So I discard this, draw a new card on the left-hand side. It's going to be uh, Advanced Targeting System. So you see what I'm saying? If it was the only deck, I'd have to draw, and it would coordinate over and over. There might be a rule about coordinate where it can't do that, but maybe you could. I don't know. All right. One attack. I've got uh, no tech trigger to play, so I might as well play Spider Grip right now. Two more attack. I don't activate the effect. That's it. I'm at five attack now. And two recruit. I am right. Okay, so that would work. So if I can KO enough cards, I can get infinite attack. Theoretically. Ooh, maybe I can actually do that. That would be really interesting. That would be really interesting. I'll consider that. Then I could just win the game, right? Yeah, if I had infinite attack, I could win the game that turn. Right, that would mean the person has six cards in the deck. I only have four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I only have 12 cards on the left-hand side. I'd have to take out 6 cards. And then I think I could win with an infinite coordinate. If that's true. If that's how that works. But there may be a caveat. There may, I may not be getting that right. It is doable. Maybe I should go that route. That would be funny. Does somebody want to check the Spider-Man Homecoming rule sheet to make sure that's, that's, that's legit? Because that feels a little too easy for me. Uh, I do have to do a lot of KOing, though. To make that happen, which is possible. Or a card that has them draw more cards in for the new turn. Yeah. So as long as I... And I do. I have lots of Spider-Man cards that draw everything. So if the coordinate card's the last card in my hand, that should work in theory, right? As long as I have Villains to Danger Sense. Anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I got five attack, two recruit, no goons to bribe. I do have Ned. Ned would work with the Spider-Man side, but he also will give me... Uh, <laughs> recruit over here, especially when I get Michelle. So we're going to fight and we're going to recruit Ned. Well, actually, for five attack, we should probably fight Shocker again because a Master Strike could happen, even though we can take out a Hellfire Cult and maybe get more recruit, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So we're going to fight Shocker for four while we can. Take him out. Two recruit. We're going to go ahead and uh, get Ned for some recruit. Okay. I have never done an infinite coordinate loop. That would be fun if I could actually pull it off. I mean, I'll keep KOing cards that aren't Spideys. We'll see how it goes. I might draw my hand now. That would... Or at the end of the turn, that would have to be the case. 
There it is. Okay, so you can't you can't coordinate more than one card. I had a feeling there was something there. That's probably to prevent infinites. Thank you, thank you. That thank you for checking. I had a feeling there was something there. It, was, it felt too good to be true. All right, turn fifteen. I, I rarely coordinate. You can tell. Uh, there's a goon. Okay, we avoided the scheme twist. And the master strike. So there we go. Let's see. I've got something decent here. Let's start with uh, heightened senses. Actually, am I going to do a recruit? I got another Ned. I could take Ned over here. That would be useful. I could use the I could use the recruit. So let me get the two recruit. I'm going to spend the two recruit to recruit. Well, well Ned's not going to wall crawl, but it's fine. I'm going to recruit Ned for two because he will help give me some uh, recruit. I do have Covert over here. Yeah, I went. Go. For, <laughs> this is Ned. Go for Ned. We got another card that costs two. All right, let's draw some stuff. Heightened senses. Let's take a peek at the villain deck. Danger sense two. Top two. Okay, I got Tinkerer, but then I have a strike coming. I guess I'll leave it in exactly this order. Uh, okay. So one attack for danger sense. We're going to go with uh, advanced targeting system to draw two cards. Top card of my deck is an agent, and then I draw with the activated power. Recon drone connection. Ooh, we get to do a little bit of a deeper danger sense now. Let's do the deeper danger sense. It's going to give me at least one attack. One, two, three. We've got, ooh, two Master Strikes coming. That is not pretty. Leaving Tinker on top. I get one more attack. At least I took out a bunch of stuff with Striker, but it's still not going to be great. Um, I've got uh, Great Responsibility. One more attack. Top card of my deck is Homemade Web Shooters, which I will activate. But, again, no bystanders there in the, in the deck. I play homemade web shooters. Two more attack. Danger Sense 1 reveals the uh, villain card that I already revealed. So I get one more attack. I'm at 6. Trooper makes it 7. Agent makes it 1 total recruit after already spending my 2. So I should probably take out Turbine Powered this turn. Because after the next villain, I got two Master Strikes coming. Or I could take out a Cult and the Goons for 8 total points. That's also a way I could go. Hmm. Taking out two things is better than one, especially with the scheme twist coming. And I can't recruit anything for one anyway, so that so that point doesn't get lost. Let's do our bribe combo again. I got I got twist coming. So I'm gonna spend one recruit, four attack, to take out another goons. I got Ned, so I don't feel so bad about getting rid of a shield agent. Let's go ahead and KO a shield agent and get rid of these goons. And for three, let's go ahead and get a Hellfire Cult. Bank robber, top card of my deck. I didn't wall crawl anything. Is another recon drone connection though, so I get one recruit. Doesn't do anything, but they're gone as well. All right, I got three city spaces open. I got some master strikes coming, which is okay. I've taken out so many villains. That's got to be close to uh, just strikes and twists and bystanders in the deck. Wow, so there's a lot of cards left. There's an extra villain group in there. Extra henchman group. I should say. And a villain group that hasn't showed up that much. But uh, let's keep going. I'm getting close to getting enough attack to hit Vulture on the left-hand side. Even when he gets a couple attack from Master Strikes. That would be great if I got the Coordinate card. Because then I could rearrange the villain deck again. If a Strike showed up. Even if I got uh, no Strike. I could probably tuck a couple of Master Strikes for a couple of turns. Now what I probably should do though is... Make sure I don't get any Scheme Twist Chains. Actually. No, Scheme Twist Chains are good because I play an overall fewer cards if I chain a couple of them. If I play two Scheme Twists on two different turns, that's six cards played. If I play two Scheme Twists back to back, that's five cards played, right? Pl there's enough, but there's less than I there should be. Nope, no Coordinate. So I'm in trouble. Master strikes are happening. Unless I can danger sense in the right, which I think I might be able to. Do I have any danger sense over here? Uh, no. <laughs> Villain deck is still pretty sizable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 cards. But again, every scheme twist plays two extra, two cards extra. So... It's not as many as it feels like when all will be said and done. And I will incur the Wrath of the Master Strikes for the next couple of turns. No danger sense to avoid it. 
did that as long as I could. Turn 16 reveals Tinkerer, which we knew about. His fight effect is you get one recruit for each tech hero in the HQ, which would be plus two recruit this turn. Escape each player reveals a tech hero or gains a wound. Let's see what I can do here. I've got three recruit. Let's see if I can draw into some more. I'll play Endless Invention to draw a card. It is another recruit. Does that unlock anything special for me? No. I end up with four recruit. Oh, Tinkerer doesn't have Striker. That's good to know. I, so I took out everything with Striker except for Turbine Powered and the Mastermind, of course. But I'm going to go with... I think take I'm going to take Michelle for three. Because she can let me fight with Recruit. So I can start getting some Shield Officers and not feel so bad about it. So if I have Iron Man cards and Shield Officers, that would work. Plus, she gives me two Recruits. So I'm going to go ahead... I don't have a lot of ranged. So let's go ahead and take Michelle for three of my four. Ned's back. I've got one attack. I can't rest my wounds, and that's going to be my turn. It is time for a couple of Master Strikes, everybody. And once again, well, I guess they won't be passed to the right on this turn. But they're going to fill in the city in the HQ um, in time for the left hand to recruit something and send them over to the right again. Unfortunately, the right-hand side has not been able to fight much. Otherwise, I could have KO'd some wounds that way. But that's not the case. Okay. The calm before the storm here. Let's go. Here is Master Strike number two. <laughs> Striker is going to increase. Alright. One wound under each HQ space, including the one on the right that has two wounds now. I'll move these down a little bit. Yep. Winged Assault. Every space gets a Winged Assault. I don't think I've had to KO a single hero yet from the HQ, so that's good. I've been keeping the city under control. And Liz gets one more wound underneath her space. And uh, everybody with Striker gets one more attack, and I have a Master Strike coming up. But I will Danger Sense this turn, so maybe I can avoid that second Master Strike. Um, seven. Who had that? Not Ned. Ned didn't have seven attack. Uh, Vulture goes up to ten, unfortunately for me. Let's do a Danger Sense. Let's start with our drone connection. We're going to reveal a Master Strike, and then what? One, two, three. A Bystander... And two Master Strikes. Ooh, I can actually rescue the Bystander, but if I do that, that means I shorten the, the turn. So, I don't think I want to do that. But I will put the Bystander on top. Okay. No attack from Danger Sense. So, i got to remind myself. I believe if I play this card, I have to do the Superpower. So if I want this to not trigger, I'm going to have to put the master other Master Strike first. So I don't lose a turn with the Bystander. Although that Bystander is a uh, draw a card. But I still don't think I want to do that. Yeah. If I do leave both Master Strikes, that it that's going to build up a lot of wounds in the HQ though. Yeah, it's not a May ability. I have to do it. So I at least want to put one Master Strike on top. If what's the what's the upside to putting both of them? Is I don't is that true? I can always choose to not trigger a superpower. This is, this doesn't come up that often. I always uh, I forget the exact ruling because again it doesn't come up that often. Obviously, if I can choose not to uh, trigger it, I'm going to keep the bystander on top. But I, I'm not 100%. I thought you had to trigger it when you play it. I, fr I thought that was the rule. All right, I'm going to look this up. This is important. All right. Something in the back of my brain says... Uh... You do have to trigger it. Hmm. Where did I read this? In the in the FAQ? Yep. It's in the FAQ. Let me read you the FAQ. Uh, here we go. It's totally here. Where did 
right here. Superpower. Okay, do I have to use a superpower if it would trigger? Unless the superpower says May in front of its ability, if you have already played the appropriate prerequisite cards to trigger a superpower, that superpower will go off when the card is played. Okay, it is mandatory. But I'm glad I checked. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> okay, so now that I've confirmed that, I want to make sure that I arrange these in the right way. Um, so I'm going to go Master Strike, Bystander, Master Strike. That's how I want to do it. Um, so I still get the one attack. I get no attack for Danger Sense. I get no attack for this Danger Sense either. I do get two attack for playing the card itself. I don't reveal the Bystander because now it's two cards down. All right, let's keep going. Um, do I have enough to recruit? I don't. So let's just do a draw right now. One more attack. Top card of my deck. It costs two or less, so I draw it. Sweet, but no other coverts to trigger net, unfortunately. That's too bad. I do get two recruit, though. I play the agent for one recruit. I play Ned for one recruit. And now I can recruit something else. Do I take Spider Grip or do I take Ned? Should probably save Ned for the other side. That needs a lot of recruit help. This is going to give me more attack. I have four. One, two, three. Why do I have four attack? I didn't danger sense any villains. So, if I take this... It doesn't draw me any more cards, though. The last trooper. I haven't played the trooper yet. But I will have four attack. You're right. Um, hmm. I could take I could take this. This doesn't let me draw any more cards. It does give me two attack, though, which is pretty good for a Spider-Man card. Or I could take Ned to recruit more. I think I'm going to go with Spider-Grip. Yeah, I know I can fight him. I'm just, I'm just going through things one at a time. Um, I will get more recruit for Tinkerer. You're right. But I'm still going to recruit one of these two costs. I'm not going to take anything more expensive. It's a Spider-Man side. That doesn't change that. But uh, if you want to see Cerebrin's point here. If, uh, if I want to get all my recruit first, then I can decide uh, what to recruit after that. So yeah, if I play my trooper... I can't, I'm just saying, I don't know if I want the Ned card, is what I'm saying. We'll see what comes up after Spider Grip. Plus, I'm going to have to pass Wounds over. Um, this is not going to get any better, so I might as well play Recon Drone now for nothing. Um, <laughs> it's not going to give me any Danger Sense. So, you know what? I'm not going to play it at all, in protest. But yeah, I could fight Tinkerer. If I do fight Tinkerer, um, I will get two Recruit. Now, if I want to take Ned first, I might get three recruit. But that won't really do anything for me. Alright, so let's... Yeah, we're going to recruit Spider Grip, and if nothing other else, something else comes up, I will take Ned. Because I could end up coordinating him at the right point. So let's fight Tinkerer for four. He doesn't have Striker, but uh, that's fine. Um, I will get two recruit for fighting him. I'll spend the four attack. I get two recruit for the two tech heroes in the HQ. And he's gone. Now I'm at four recruit. So let's see what we get. We're going to take Spider Grip. Passing more wounds to the Iron Man side. Uh, I will wall crawl it to the top of my deck. And uh, this wound goes to the right hand side. Let's see what comes in. All right. More attack. Great responsibility. This is a great one for this side. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two or less, draw it. I will take that for the last two. Without having to pass a wound. There is Iron Man's Rare, which I'm probably not going to be able to take on the right-hand side. That would be great if I could. I get to draw four cards. Well, you're in India, so I believe you. <laughs> Send it away. That's not very nice. All right, and I play Recon Drone Connection. Doesn't do anything. And that's the end of the turn. I've seen videos of how big of a nuisance monkeys are over there. They're not afraid of anything. So, I totally believe you. Pretty good hand next turn, but I got a couple of Master Strikes coming. Or at least one more. Right? Did I reveal one or two? I think I revealed two more. Let's do it. Turn 18. Oh no, I got a Bystander. Uh, master Strike, Bystander, Master Strike. So this is the first Master Strike before the Bystander. <laughs> I do have some coordinates. So once again, 
more wounds go out. In these spots, I've got one extra wound here. We're just going to put them like this because it doesn't matter. I'm going to take the top one when it happens. The rare gets a wound. At least I don't have to worry about the wound stack running out, but this is still very annoying. Liz has three wounds here. She has not been able to be... <laughs> she has not been able to... How do I want to say this? She has not been able to... Nope. I have not been able to recruit her. That's the best. That's the best way to say that. <laughs> it's getting late. All right. Um, and uh, everything will strike her gets a little stronger. So this goes up to eight. And uh, Vulture goes up to 11. Striker does ramp up in a really threatening way. I do enjoy Striker. Simple mechanic based off of Master Strikes. Can get some weird combos when you get to some weird stuff with Master Strikes with schemes, but, but pretty fun. Okay, four recruit. Nothing to fight. I got a bystander coming next, thanks to my danger sense. I do have some coordinate. I could... Oh, do I have Ned? Nope. I could do something that's happening here. I will wait on that, since the next card is a bystander. I will danger sense for when it's the left hand side's turn. I don't have any other coordinates. I will draw some cards, so maybe I'll get some recruit with Ned. But, for four recruit, I could send a wound to the left. I don't really want to, but I'm going to need to do something over here. So, I could rest this wound away, which seems like a waste, or I could take repulse or raise, or I could take this Ned, which again, I'm going to save for the left hand side, I think. I'm going to take repulse or raise. For three. Send one wound. Wait, do I send one or both? I think it's just one. Uh, gains one of the wounds below that space. Okay, I gain one. So we'll send the top standard wound to the left-hand side. Left-hand side has got a wound. And that's the turn. We got a bystander coming up next. I just got to make the left side really good. So I can't... Ooh, I got coordinate over here. So I got to remember that. Ned for coordinate. I gotta make the left side really good so we can take out Striker or get, take out Vulture on its own before I run out of cards or I play all the cards. Replaced with, by the way. There we go. There's a Spider Man card with Recruit. Okay, turn 19. That's the Bystander, and it's going to the Hellfire Cult. If I fight the Hellfire Cult, I get to draw a card, which is nice. Alright. Ashy, what was that in reaction to? Okay. I do have Ned to coordinate, which will trigger with the Covert. Let's do a Danger Sense. Four. Let's see what we got in store for us. Top four of the villain deck. One, two, three, four. Something is happening. Peter Tingle. Here we go. Wow, lucky me. I got three. I got Master Strike on the top and then three villains. So we're going to go put the Master Strike on the bottom. I get three attack for the Danger Sense, which is good because I have more Danger Sense coming. Uh, what order do I want to place these in? So I have... Three strikes played, so this is going to be a seven. Tinkerer is going to be a four, and the Chitari weapon assault is going to be also a seven. So let's put the Tinkerer on top, followed by the one I can bribe, followed by the one I can't bribe, followed by the Master Strike. There we go. Cool. I didn't reveal a scheme twist, so I don't shuffle. But uh, I will. Hmm, do I want to wall crawl? Let's play two recruit. I don't have any cards to wall crawl, so there's no point. Um, so let's go ahead and play Heightened Senses. Danger Sense 2, I keep the same order. I revealed two villains, so two attack. Top card of my deck. Ooh, I don't have a deck. So I'm going to... Should I recruit before I shuffle? Probably. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm. Which card do I take? Do I take Ned, or do I take Astonishing Strength? I do have the Ned to coordinate on the right-hand side. So I can get a lot of spider cards before I draw one. This will still draw more cards, and it'll draw every single card I have in my deck. So, there's no reason not to take this. Um, I will take Astonishing Strength for two. I might be able to wall crawl something. Cool, we got Avenger in Training. That's a good one. Um, so, I haven't played uh, Heightened Senses yet. I've only played these three cards. I've recruited something for two. Now, I think I'm going to play Heightened Senses, and then... Although, here's the thing. I want to play Ned after Heightened Senses, which means I'm going to have to draw, which means I'm not going to have a discard anymore. 
but that's okay. If I don't play Ned, by the way, the right side is going to have one, two, three, four, five, five recruit, and I can get Arc Reactor. So maybe I don't coordinate Ned. Maybe I save that for Arc Reactor. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, back up. So we've got. Yeah, we danger sensed four. We got three attack, two attack from heightened senses. I forgot to take that away. So let's back up. I got, I got three attack from something is happening. I played my two recruit. I bought a Spider-Man card. I, now I play heightened senses. I get danger sense two, two more attack. All right, now we're on track. Now I have to shuffle the discard pile to draw some more cards. I just need eleven to hit Vulture. There is a good chance I could do it this turn. I'm gonna get two more from Spider Grip six seven. I just need four more cards out of. Three more card draws. Four more attack out of three card draws. I think I can get there. Okay, here we go. Top card on my deck is a trooper. All right, I draw that. Let's now play the advanced targeting system. I get to draw two cards, basically, right now. I get Ned and homemade web shooters. All right. So, let's play... Homemade web shooters. Two more attack. I danger sense a villain again. And I get one more attack. I don't reveal a bystander. Um, I am going to get 11 attack this turn. Which is great. So let's go ahead and play the trooper for a ninth attack. And let's play spider grip. Two more attack. Now, I choose two villains in adjacent city spaces. Each one of them gets minus one this turn. So, uh, turbine powered is now seven. And hellfire cult is now uh, two. So, I could hit vulture... Or I could clear the city, which will let me draw a card. This is a tough decision. Hmm. Let me just let me just uh, do this so I can get the full perspective. All right, turbine powered right now is seven with the minus one. Hellfire Colt is two. So I hit Vulture. I have to hit Vulture five times to win. But clearing the city would almost guarantee that I won't lose to the scheme and I could just focus on hitting Vulture for the rest of the game. Oh! I totally didn't. That makes my decision a lot easier. Um, so I'm only at 10 attack. Okay. Guess what? My decision has been made for me. I don't have enough to hit Vulture, so that's fine because I think I was leaning towards this option anyway. So what uh, Ashley was talking about was uh, the trigger on homemade web shooters. I don't actually get the one danger sense because I didn't have the tech played before it. For some reason, I thought this card was tech, but it's actually a strike. Uh, anyway, easy decision. Now I can clear the city. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and hit turbine powered. Um, I could, however, I played web shooters before I revealed spider grip, I believe. Is that the case? I think I, I played homemade web shooters before I revealed Spider Grip. Because I drew this. Is that what happened? If that's what happened, I can't take it back. Because when did, when did I draw Spider Grip? No. I had them both out before I played them. I didn't reveal one after the other. So I suppose I could switch them. But do I want to? I have three villains coming. Right hand side is going to get, um, I didn't play Ned yet, some Recruit. I did draw off the Coverts. You know what? I think I want to clear the city. As crazy as it sounds, because I'm going to get some more Recruit from drawing, probably drawing another card. And, uh... Hmm. My gut says clear the city. My gut says clear the city because I'm not going to have this opportunity much later. But then, I do have four scheme twists in here. And that's going to be, let's say I play them in different terms. So that's one twist, two twists, three twists, four twists. So after all those cards, that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got like 14 turns left. That's not a lot of turns. To hit the mastermind five times. Plus, the Hellfire Cult is weak enough I can hit them on their own. Okay, after much deliberation, I will swap the order of those tech cards. Which means... I get the plus one for Danger Sense. 
but I don't re reduce the attack of these two birds. Okay. I'm running out of time. That's the only reason why. Okay. All that said, now we can hit the Mastermind for 11. I was going to go with my gut, but I did some evaluation. Counting the villain deck convinced me. I'm going to hit the Mastermind now. My gut didn't count the, the villain deck first. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. First tactic. Lurking Shadow. Fight Danger Sense 2. If the rooftops are empty, a villain you've revealed entered the rooftops. Oh, great. So this is going to speed things up anyway. At least I got two more attack out of it. Two more attack. Um, if the rooftops are empty, a villain you revealed enters the rooftops. Well, let's go ahead and put the Tinkerer in the rooftops. That's not great. But at least I hit him once. Okay. I've got two attack. Can't do anything with that. I've got Ned. Let's do some recruiting. I have played some Covert, so I get... Oh, actually, should I... You know what? No, I'm going to put the goons there because I can fight him this turn. Swap. I can fight him this turn. I'm going to play Ned for one recruit and then two more recruit. I'm... Oh, no, they're they're stronger. They have... Never mind. Never mind. Striker is now plus three, so I can't fight him. So back to plan A. <laughs> back to plan A. Um, I play Ned for one recruit. It activates the superpowers. So that's two more. They're no longer at five attack. So I wouldn't be able to hit him anyway for bribe. Um, oh, cool. Let's uh, let's recruit something else. Uh, Avenger in training here. We haven't seen this yet. Two attack plus wall crawl and instinct, which I don't think I have any. So that's not great. And I don't want to fight extra villains. But at least this will give me three attack. But I do have to have an instinct, which I'm not going to. I honestly think a sidekick would be better than this Avenger in training card. Because I don't have any instinct. I could take Ned, but again, I don't really need the recruit. I'm going to go with a sidekick, actually. That, that way I won't pass a wound. Sidekick, standard sidekick, right here for two. I can still draw them with Spideys. Okay, that was a lot. If left side again can just focus on hitting that mastermind, I'll be in good shape. Speaking of good shape, this is not in good shape. Look at this hand. I have some attack, but I sped up the villain deck. We've got more goons coming in. These goons are now four plus three for the three master strikes played. So they're at seven attack, which is not ideal. But again, I can let five things escape and still not lose. But I have to watch out for the scheme twist because things are probably going to escape when I do that. Um, okay. I can fight something with recruit this turn. I got two recruit. I'll play Michelle. Choose a villain or mastermind. You can fight it using only recruit this turn. How much recruit am I going to get? I'm going to get five recruit. So should I use it to fight? Or should I use it to get arc reactor? I do have to pick somebody right now. And that's only recruit. So you can't bribe. You can't combine. Actually, this is funny. If I pick the Magia goons, this cancels out their bribe. This basically makes... This 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 takes bribe away. It says you can fight it using only recruit. So there's no reason to give this ability to a villain... This modifier to a villain with bribe. Because that means I can only fight him with recruit. So I should give it to somebody else. Uh, even though I'm probably not going to use it. Although if I do fight Tinker, I'll get two recruit out of it. And get a little bit of... Hmm. Tinkerer is going to give me two recruit when I fight him. Because... Of the two recruit in the two tech in the HQ. <sighs> you may fight it using only recruit this turn. So let's let's play this out. Let's say I play Michelle and I pick Tinkerer. I play Ned. That's five total recruit. Um, I fight Tinkerer for four recruit. I'm down to one recruit. I got plus two. I'm at three recruit. Can I coordinate any of the buddy on the left? No. I could, uh, I can only get Liz if I fight Tinkerer with straight up attack, and then I could take her. So that's another way to go. So let's back up, play this scenario out. I play the two troopers, I play Spider Grip, I get four attack. I fight Tinkerer, I get two recruit, that's going to give me a total of three, four, five, six, seven recruit, and I can get the rare Iron Man. Ooh, that seems like a really good way to go. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And then I can draw a ton of cards. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good to me. I will pass a wound over and I will not hit anything in the city. 
But getting a rare is usually very helpful. And I do have tech to trigger it. Let's do that. So, uh, play it out. Two attack. Spider Grip is going to give me two more attack with no other effect. I can just draw a bunch of cards with Quantum Breakthrough, and if they're all wounds, I can KO them all. That'll be fun. Um, okay. I will now fight Tinkerer. Tinkerer for four is going to give me one recruit for each hero tech hero in the HQ. And that's going to be plus two recruit. So take it out, Tinkerer. I have two recruit now. Wherever the two is, I play Michelle. Two more recruit. And I play Ned for three more recruit. And I get Quantum Breakthrough. I hope I have this in time. And I have to pass this wound over, unfortunately. But I didn't get a rare out of the deal. And that's the turn. These wounds are really going to slow me down, though. Although I get, do get to draw cards. If I'm lucky, I'll draw into Quantum Breakthrough and I can draw a ton of cards. There are a ton of cards in my discard pile. Okay. Let's keep going. Again, I'm relying on the left-hand side. But once I run out of villains, Danger Sense is not going to do anything for me. Okay, turn 21. It gives me Chitari, Weapon, Assault. And I believe the next card is a Master Strike, right? That's the third card down from when I Danger Sense last. I do get a Danger Sense again, though. Striker. Fight, KO one of your heroes with a Recruit Icon. Escape. Each player discards a card with a Recruit Icon. So with Striker, we're up to 7 attack on this card as well. Although this one I cannot bribe. Let me double check for Coordinate. Right hand side has no cards to Coordinate. Let's see what we... Danger Sense. Danger Sense 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. We got two Hellfire Cults and a Master Strike. Let's put that Master Strike on the bottom. Get our plus two attack for our Danger Sense. That's pretty good. We will do the second one. Get two more attack for two more Danger Sense. Um, we will play an Agent for one Recruit. We will play... Astonishing Strength for one more recruit. We're going to draw a card. Pretty much every of these, every Spidey card, I only have cards that cost two or less, so they're always going to draw. Top card of my deck is Great Responsibility, so I draw that. I have enough to wall crawl something. I do have an Instinct card here, so if I do wall crawl Avenger in training and draw it, I will get to activate it this turn, which will give me a total of... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 attack plus a card draw. Close to hitting the Mastermind. So we're going to do that. We're going to spend the two recruit to um, recruit and wall crawl Avenger in training. Now that I know I have another instinct. Two other instincts, actually. It's wall crawled. So now we can play Great Responsibility to get one attack and draw that Avenger in training. Um, let's Avenger in training. Uh, two more attack. I went to seven. Uh, Danger Sense one. It reveals a villain. I'm not going to fight it because I don't want to increase the speed of the game, but I'm going to get one attack for the Danger Sense. And let's hope we draw into more attack. I need two more attack to hit the Mastermind. I don't know if I'm going to get it, though. That's um, nine total attack. This is my discard pile. So if I can get Danger Sense two, I'll be good. Or if I get the uh, sidekick and draw two more cards, I might be good. So I'm hoping... For some more attack. For two more attack. Come on, Spidey deck. Don't let me down. A fateful card draw is what I'm up to. By the way, this wound goes to the right-hand side. Okay. I shuffle a little bit longer when I'm nervous about what's going to come up. <laughs> like that helps. It might even make it worse. Okay. This card is what I draw. It is. That's going to do it. Sweet. Okay, two more attack up to 11. Do I have attack? I did play attack. I'll Danger Sense 1, so I'm actually at 12. No bystanders. But, again, City is scary. However, I fought enough things. I do have to hit the Mastermind. I got Master Strikes coming, so we're going to hit Vulture a second time for 11. Whew, okay. Second tactic is Midair Heist Fight. You get five recruit usable... Only to recruit tech heroes. Oh, man. If only I had this on the other side. Um, all right. Here's the thing about Arc Reactor. It's not bad for this side. Because I do have plenty of tech cards I'm going to play. 
So let's say I played it this turn. I would get three attack. However, it's going to stop a Spidey draw series in its tracks because it costs five. And because that's what this deck is based around, and I have all these core Spideys, I do not think it's worth it. I do not think it's worth it. Um, so I am not going to take advantage of this tactic. And we'll just be happy with the fact we hit the Mastermind and end there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna let it sit there. We're gonna let it be. Okay, I got some. I got some coordinate. I can give the other side one or three recruit, depending on if they have a covert. If I coordinate Ned, which might set up my attack on the left hand side a little better. Let's keep going. We've got a couple of bank robbers coming in before the disaster we have yep another hellfire cult coming in full city what's up it starts with one things are not going as well as i thought they would here you missed it but my very first turn played seven cards in the villain deck before i got to do anything okay i might not be able to fight anything this turn so we'll see what i draw I might have an escape with a bystander escaping, which is not great. Endless Invention. Let's draw. Which means we shuffle this in, which is kind of okay. I have a lot of cards here. I don't mind ending up in the discard pile, not getting shuffled in. I really hope I draw that rare Iron Man. But the chances of that happening are not that great. So I don't really expect it. Let's see what we got. Okay, top card of the deck is... A wound. Of course it is. Well, this looks like a rest turn to me. And it looks like... Well, I do have coordinate. I could coordinate Ned. But that'll only give me one recruit. That's not going to be enough to do anything. I've got... Uh, and I'm going to have an escape of something with a bystander, which is not great. Three recruit. I could get four. But that's not great. I could coordinate Ned on purpose in the left just so I can get more attack on the left-hand side. So for that reason, I think I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to coordinate Ned. I'm going to discard him from the left-hand side. Play copy over here. I get one more recruit. And I draw. Okay, that was a good... That was good. Although I can only coordinate one card per turn, so I can't coordinate this now. But at least I can avoid maybe more later. Okay. Well... I think it's beneficial here for me to rest, suffer the discard, and just deal with it. Because I get the opportunity to KO three wounds. I can't bribe anything. Yeah, it's going to have to be a rest. Here we go. Yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not enough to bribe. Here we go. Rest. That's it. We got our first escape. Coming up. Ooh, I drew... Uh, the rare Iron Man, but no tech! Fun. Something is happening. Something is happening, and that thing that's happening is an escape. So here's our first escape of the game with a bystander, which again, not ideal. Okay, no escape effect on turbine powered, and somehow this turbine powered grows legs and runs away, but uh, the bystander also gets carried off. So we have to do a KO, and anything I KO... If there's a wound underneath it, I do have to pass that wound to the other side. But, uh... Mm. I really wish I can get heightened senses on the left. The problem, again, with danger senses is once I get down to the bottom of the deck and there's no more villains left, these give me nothing. But Astonishing Strength, I don't really need the Recruit anymore. So I'm going to KO Astonishing Strength, um... Because I don't need the Recruit and I won't have to pass a wound. So Astonishing Strength is gone... Each side... Ooh, another rare. Another rare. That's a great expose. From the neighborhood. Wall crawl coordinate. You get plus three attack usable only against the mastermind or villains on the rooftops or streets. Great for the left-hand side to hit Vulture with. Now, I have to discard a card. It's going to be the shield agent. I'm going for attack. I got to clear some things. So, shield agent on the left gets discarded. On the right... I've got Ned, which is one, two, three recruit. Not a lot of synergy here, but I do have some attacks. So let's go ahead and discard the agent on the right as well. Okay, let's go. Let's see if I can... Well, first we have to have this other bank robber hellfire cult enter the city. 
and then let's do a danger sense. See what we get. Danger sense four. Okay, we revealed, wow, two scheme twists and a strike. Um, I get one attack for the villain. I am going to reach... Hmm. Here's the thing. If I put two scheme twists on top, I will play all of these cards. If I reshuffle it, there is a chance that I could draw the scheme twists on separate turns, which will play net more cards, right? So turn one, I play a scheme twist, I play three cards. Turn two, I play a scheme twist, I play a total of six cards. But if I do this, I get to play one, two, three, four cards only. But that's for one turn. And the next card will be five. So I play one less card overall if the next card is not a... Um, it won't play more cards. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to shuffle. We'll shuffle anyway. I'm always bad on the math on that. All right, we're going to shuffle. I've already committed. You do not count the card the next turn. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. So I'm saying over two turns, I would play six cards. Or over two turns, I would play... Well, I guess that doesn't matter because you may not draw the same thing. Regardless, I'm shuffling the villain deck. So, I'll Danger Sense again so I can see what's there if I draw into a Danger Sense. But unfortunately, I only got one attack from that. Um, so now we're going to... Play our sidekick. Draw two. Yep. Agent. Wound. Oh, that's rough. That is really bad. Six cards total both scenarios. Okay, good. Good to know. So I don't have to worry about that. Um. Well. I don't have much option. I guess I'll do the one card draw I still have left. Top card on my deck. Heightened senses. Okay. I get to do one more danger sense. But I missed that on a card draw. Um, oh, do I have any coordinate? I do have Ned. It's good to know. Um, heightened senses. Let's do it. I don't have enough to recruit, so I might as well do this even though I don't have a deck. Danger sense two. What did I shuffle into? Two villains. All right, cool. Uh, both of the striker, though, and fight danger sense three. So two high tech helmets give me. To attack. Um, I get to reveal the top card of my deck. So let's hope it's fateful. If nothing else, I can hit the Hellfire Cult that gives me a draw card bystander. And then maybe I'll draw into something good. But uh, I don't know. Um, I wish I could KO this wound from my hand, but I can't. Okay, top card of the deck is... More Danger Sense. And it is a tech trigger. So let's play it. Danger Sense 3 is going to reveal a third card. It is another villain. Um, I will. It's a Hellfire Cult. I'll put them on the top. So I get three more attack. I'm up to six. Trooper gives me seven. Spider Grip. I'm close to hitting the Mastermind, but not enough. Two more attack. I activate the tech power. Um... Who should I give the negatives to? If 9 attack... If I give them to these two, that's going to be 2 and 6. That'll be 8. That's probably the best I can ask for. Uh, Chitauri Weapon Assault is going to KO one of your heroes with the Recruit Icon. So if I, yeah, if I do that to these two, or actually, maybe I should fight the Hellfire Cult first. No, because that'll be a first three, and I'll have six left, and I won't be able to hit the goons. Well, I could bribe them. I do have one recruit. I'll play that right now. So I have ten total power, so that's seven, and I'll have three attack left. If I do it to these two Hellfire Cults, actually, they'll each be two. I won't have enough. Because this will go down. I'll hit this for... 
six attack, one recruit. I'll have three attack left, and I'll still be short one. Um, well, I'm going to want to draw that card. So let's go ahead and uh, choose the goons and the Hellfire Cult here. Uh, each one gets minus one this turn. Hellfire Cult goes down to two. Hopefully, I'll draw into something good. Um, and the goons go down to six. Okay, let's hit the Hellfire Cult for two attack. Down to seven. See what we get. We do. I, we're going to do this first and then the bystander effect. Top card of your deck. Uh, if it costs zero, KO it. Otherwise, you get one recruit. I get one recruit. That's good. Um, I don't KO it. And the Hellfire Cult is gone. The Danger Sense is good because I get the news reporter. News reporter says, uh, when you rescue this bystander, draw a card. I draw Recon Drone Connection. It's going to give me three more attack. So I play it. Um, Danger Sense 3, once again, I believe the top three were villains. I already looked at them and rearranged them. Yeah, so three more attack. I'm at 10 attack. Fortunately, thanks to that, I'm still short one. If only this wound was an attack. I can coordinate Ned, but he's not going to give me any more attack. He will give me Recruit, though. Which I could use to fight the Magia Goons. Um, he'll give me three Recruit. That'll give me five. I can spend one attack, I'll have nine left, and I can clear some stuff in the city. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do some recruiting, but probably not on this side. So let's let's coordinate Ned. We will play Ned from the left-hand side. We'll coordinate him. So I play a copy. I got one recruit plus two more for the coverts I've played already. Um, he gets discarded. Left, uh, right side draws. A grievous wound. Cool. I was hoping I'd draw into attack. I definitely want to take Friendly Neighborhood. Um, I guess what I could have done is I could have recruited Friendly Neighborhood and then drew it. But I didn't get to do that. Oh, well. I'm going to get that, though. So, if we bribe the goons, I'll have nine. And then I can... Uh, take out two Hellfire Cults. Or I can take a Hellfire Cult out. I might get more Recruit to fight the uh, Goon. So, let's fight a Hellfire Cult for three. Down to seven. Fight a Hellfire Cult. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to go back to ten. Back up. We're going to Recruit Friendly Neighborhood for two Recruit. Do I want to do that? I'll go up to six. I'll go down to three. It'll still only get you a three attack light drone connection. Yeah. So I, I recruit that for two. I get one back. I'm up to four. Now let's go with let's go with a chance what we got. Let's uh, fight a Hellfire Cult. I still would have been one short. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. Fighting the Hellfire Cult for three. Uh, top part of my deck is Ned. So I get one recruit for revealing Ned. And I take out the Hellfire Cult here. Now I can completely bribe the goons, and I can hit the Chitauri Weapon Assault, which feels pretty good. Um, if I hit this Hellfire Cult, I'll get one more recruit, so I'll go down to a three and up to four, so that's not enough. So let's clear these two things, the two things of a striker. Let's spend all six recruit, oh, but I want to take this Spider-Man. Hmm, so okay, so maybe I'll leave the goons there. I'll be down to four. And then I bribe partially, and then I take out the Hellfire Cult. Uh, okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I, I really want to take Friendly Neighborhood. So let's spend three Recruit right now. Three Attack to hit the Hellfire Cult. Again, this one in the sewers. Uh, top card again is Ned, so I get one more Recruit. And the Hellfire Cult is taken out. Again, the Bank Robbers. And we're going to partially bribe the Goons. We're going to spend four Attack and two Recruit to uh, take out the Goons. And the goons say, KO one of your heroes. Uh, I'm going to have to KO... Oh, there's an agent. Okay, I take out the agent here. And the goons are gone. And with five recruit, I definitely want to take Friendly Neighborhood. And I will wall crawl it. Which means I can coordinate it next turn if I really want to. And again, i got to be careful with this danger sense because at one point it's not going to work. So, it does draw a card though. And it does not have any wounds. So let me take heightened senses. Just in case. 
Okay, just gotta do a lot of draws, and I'll be good. I did hit him two times already. Um, okay. I wall crawled that. Now a new hand. Alright. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I got an instinct. So looks like I'm gonna get three attack, four, five, six, seven attack, plus one draw. It's only seven though. We'll see what that turns into. This is a lot closer of a game than I thought it was going to be. And no tech to trigger the, the rare Iron Man either. Turn 24 is that Hellfire cult that we revealed. Alright, let's go. Um, I guess I'll play Quantum Breakthrough to draw two cards. I don't see why not. Yeah, draw two cards. One, two. Well, now I get a tech. <laughs> would have been better earlier. Spider Grip to attack. There are no adjacent villains. So, does this mean I can't choose any villains because I cannot choose two villains in adjacent city spaces? I think that means this doesn't affect anybody. I would have to choose two villains in adjacent spaces to make this work. So, this doesn't do anything. I can't just choose this one because there aren't, any, aren't two. Yeah, this just doesn't do anything. Alright, so I play it. Um, I got a trooper. That's another attack. I got repulsor rays unactivated. That's two more attack. And I've got two recruit. I will actually activate corrosive webbing. The one grievous wound I almost always activate. You may KO this wound if you do gain another wound. Because you might get a standard one. So I will KO corrosive webbing. To gain a new wound. We'll see if it's standard. It is standard. That's a little bit of an upgrade. Um, let's fight the Hellfire Cult, because why not? Fight him for three. Top card of my deck is not a zero-cost card, so I got one more recruit. And the Hellfire Club, Hellfire Cult is gone. By the way, I'm reading that arc right now, so it's, you know, neat. Uh, okay. I got three recruits, so I can take Endless Invention safely. Uh, I will recruit Endless Invention for three. That'll be my turn. Let me please get into some Iron Man card draws. I desperately need those. Um, I could have, I could have courted, coordinated Friendly Neighborhood, but um, that wouldn't have been enough to hit the Mastermind. So I'm gonna keep it where it is. My new hand: one, two, three, four, five, six. Gross. Okay, let's see if I have some lucky card draws. Well, here we go. Turn 25. High-tech helmet. High-tech helmet's also got striker, so it's going to be a 6-attack villain right now with Danger Sense 3 when you fight it. Which can lead into some interesting chains. If you fight those early, that's great, because uh, you fight it for 3, you might get Danger Sense 3, and you might refill all your attack. But because I've played 3 strikes already, not so much. Well, Friendly Neighborhood's just going to do its thing. So... I can wall crawl something and draw it. So I could wall crawl Avenger in training. So let's say I do that. I get two recruit. I wall crawl Avenger in training. I get three attack towards the mastermind. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus a card draw. If I do that, there is a chance I could draw an 11th attack and hit the mastermind. But there's no guarantee. The next card doesn't have to be that. Um. But that does give me the best chance. Oh no, never mind. I can only draw one card. Back up, back up. So I would be short anyway. Um, yeah. So I might as well not wall crawl it. Because I might draw into another draw. So I'm going to get three towards the mastermind. Four. and I had to play this first anyway. Four. And a card draw. Five, six, seven. Then maybe I could recruit and a wall crawl it. We'll see. So I'm going to have to play Great Responsibility Blind. Because even if I recruit this, I can't draw into anything else. So let's go for it. Let's play it right now. Hoping for the best. Great Responsibility. Here we go. Top card of my deck is... Homemade Web Shooters. Okay. What am I at now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Tech. 7, 8, 9, 10... 
Oh man, I'm one short again. And I can't draw anymore. That's too bad. Well, it is what it is. Let's play Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, I get three attack usable only against the Masterminder villains in the rooftops or streets. I'll mark it here. Keep that in mind in case I decide to fight the high-tech helmet. Let's play Homemade Web Shooters. Two more attack. Danger Sense 1 is going to reveal that high-tech helmet, so I do get the attack for Danger Sense 1. I've got um, Avenger in training. 8, 9. And then Danger Sense 1 gives me a 10th. I can fight the high-tech helmet. But even when it's in the villain deck, it does still have Striker. It's not an ambush effect, so it is going to cost me 6 attack to fight. And I don't want to speed things up, so I probably shouldn't do that. And unfortunately, like I said, I'm short 1 attack to hit the Mastermind. That really hurts. And again, I have nothing else to coordinate on the right-hand side. So that won't help. There's no shards in this game. So I also have no recruit to trigger Ned, so I'll only get his 2 recruit. And I still think I want to take Avengers in training and wall crawl it. Any fancy fight effects? Fight effect on Chitauri Weapon Assault is K1 of a hero to the recruit icon. If I fight this turn, I'm going to have to K... Oh, I guess I can get rid of an agent this way. If I fight the high-tech helmet, I get Danger Sense 3. So I should probably fight the helmet first. I'll go down to uh, 4 attack. If I'm lucky, I'll draw 3 villains. I forget what's there. And I might be able to hit the Weapon Assault. But I don't think I will. But that's fine. Let's just do it in that order, just in case. High Tech Helmet. Fight it for six. Um, Down to three attack. Or four attack. Danger Sense three. Top three cards of the villain deck are one, two, three. Hey, they are three villains. So guess what? I go back up to 7 attack and I get a clear city. That's nice. Uh, Hell Hellfire Cult followed by High Tech Helmet followed by the Weapon Assault. Um, okay. Ooh, there is some crazy rain outside. Alright, take out High Tech Helmet. Go up to 7 attack with a Danger Sense and uh, now I get to clear the city which is interesting. So, oh by the way, I didn't put this counter up. I have one villain escape for what it's worth. There, that's accurate. I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, okay, I fight the weapon assault for 7 attack. Okay, one of your heroes with the recruit icon. That's going to be my agent. And the Chari weapon assault is gone. I have a clear city. That's nice. Um, I will recruit and wall crawl. Do I want to wall crawl this? No, I have both of my instinct cards out here. But I only have 3 cards in my deck. I'm not going to wall crawl this. We'll see what comes up. I will just put it in my discard. Alright, advanced targeting system is here. Okay. Yeah, that would be something. But uh, that doesn't really help me with... <laughs> Vulture does not care about the city at all. He's taken to the skies. He only cares about the uh, amount of threat he's bearing down upon Peter. And I guess that makes sense, because in his first adventure here, uh, Peter was intimidated by the threat of Vulture, and that's what worked. I don't think that... Um, even Far From Homer, No Way Home Peter would be taken down by Vulture that easily. He wouldn't be as intimidated. He grew up a little bit. So that works. Alright. I'm regretting not wall crawling that card because I did draw an instinct, but we'll see if I get it anyway. Four, five, six. I got it, but two wounds along with it. Great. Couple not great hands coming up. Turn 26 is that Hellfire Cult. Alright. I have three recruit. I can choose to fight... Um... I can choose to fight with only recruit this turn if I want to. Two attack. And two wounds. Well... Either I recruit a two-cost card I don't really want, or I fight the Hellfire Cult for three recruit with Michelle. 
Um, or I rest. What does my discard look like? How many wounds do I have? I have one. Ooh, if I rest this turn, I get rid of all but one of my wounds. And that's a higher chance of doing a big draw hand. So let's rest with the buffer of having nothing else in the city. Let's rest. If I have time left, we're going to rest. And I will draw six new cards from a deck that only has one wound in it now. Thanks to my couple of rests. Thank goodness for that Grievous one. Uh, I turned it to a regular wound. I think that is the one that's in here. Give me something good. Come on, give me a lot of Iron Man draws. Please, please, please. I get... Ooh, did I have any cards to coordinate, by the way? I should have checked. I don't, I don't think I did. Okay, no. We've got... One, two, three, four... Ooh, five, six. Right, that right there, my friends, is one, two, three, four, five, six card draws. But no attack, except for the Repulsor Ace. So we'll see if that even turns into anything worthwhile. But at least I get to draw a lot. Maybe I can do some good recruits. If I have time left. I will do a couple of draws here. Next card, I've already looked at it, is another high-tech helmet. Running out of cards in the villain deck pretty quickly. Striker, fight, Daner, sends three. This one's at seven. Er, nope, it's at, it's at six. Thanks to uh, Striker, three right now. This game is going a lot longer than I thought right now. Ooh, it's almost midnight here. These games don't usually go this long. I guess there's extra cards in the villain deck, and I've avoided most of the twists. All the twists I've played this game were turn one. I haven't played a single other twist yet, thanks to Danger Sense. <laughs> okay. Um, I can do a wall crawl, but only after I play. Everyone's favorite hero, thanks for the raid. Is that Diablo? Looks like Diablo. And a Christmas tree that left me a clip from a couple months ago. Welcome, thank you so much. Go bring a bagel to everyone's favorite hero, please. Appreciate the raid. I am two hours into a Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel Legendary setup, and it's not going the best. Kind of give and take here. So, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and play Astonishing Strength. Top card of my deck is Ned. Hello, Ned. I draw that card. I got to play one more recruit card so I can wall crawl something, if, but nothing has wall crawl, so no point. Let's just keep drawing, shall we? Uh, let's play Great Responsibility. Here, one attack. Top card of my deck, let's keep drawing, is Spider Grip. All right. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. That looks, uh, okay, perfect. Yeah, this is pretty fun. It's a, This is an expansion based off of Spider-Man Homecoming. I've been playing a series of MCU-based legendary games every Tuesday night. Uh, this is what, the 20 something if, And this is the first time I've actually been able to play a set that is based off the movie. Homecoming is really the only one. There's a set of MCU reskins of the core set, but uh, and there's some extra villains in there that were created for that set, but uh, still, it's going okay. In this game, Spider-Man has an interesting mechanic where he cares about cards that cost two, so you only want to have Spider-Man cards, but I'm not having the best luck. All right, I don't have a tech to trigger this. I do have a tech to trigger Avenger in training, so I might as well play this now. Uh, two more attack, Danger Sense one. Top card of the villain deck is still a villain. It's Chitauri Weapon Assault. So I got one more attack. I'm not going to fight it. Again, I do not want to speed up this game. Yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I want to go back and watch it after watching the other two Spider-Man movies. It would be a, it would be worth the watch, I think. So I am uh, capped out on attack at six. <laughs> six attack this turn. That's not a lot. I can fight the high-tech helmet and I get more danger sense. That's something. Can't hit Vulture. But I, do I have any coordinate on the right? I don't think I have any. Nope, I just got Iron Man. Two more attack. No activation of the superpower, but I do have enough attack to fight the high-tech helmet. So let's punch the helmet. Oops. The bank robbers go back. Punch in the helmet for six. Let's us danger sense three. So we get the Chitauri weapon assault and the two underneath it, which are... Ooh, uh, hybrid alien tech and strike. So let's keep it in the exact same order we've already seen. Uh, yeah, we'll do Weapon Assault, Alien Tech, Master Strike. So I get uh, two more attack after that. Danger Sense. High Tech Helmet is out of here. And the two attacks not going to do anything for me anyway. Didn't play a Covert, so Ned gives me one recruit, and the Agent gives me one recruit. So what should I take? 
Uh, advanced targeting system lets me draw two cards. Seems like a no-brainer. I'm going to run out of danger sense soon, so... I am going to go ahead and take advanced targeting system, I think. Yes. For two. And there's another... Peter Parker. Let's keep going. On to turn 28. Is this going to be a better hand? All right. Mate... This is a villain. This goes to my victory. <laughs> How do I do that? All right. That's better. Check it out. Uh, but Danger Sense, I potentially have something decent. I can also coordinate three attack towards the Mastermind. Got to keep that in mind. So that's going on top for the Iron Man side. Do I even have 11 attack to get over here? I have a lot of cards to draw. I know that. If I'm short three, I can get three. Here we go. Turn 28 gives us another weapon assault. They also have a striker again. So, 7 attack. Let's see what I can draw. Let's start by playing the first Endless Invention to draw one card. That card draw is a shield agent. Okay. Now we're going to play the big one, Quantum Breakthrough, the rare, to draw... Oh, I could, I could wall crawl homemade web shooters. That way I could guarantee I could get that. But do I want that over here? I have enough recruit almost to get Arc Reactor. But then I'll have to pass a wound over. If I take Homemade Web Shooters, that's two attack, plus Danger Sense one. Oh wait, because I can always draw it with Endless Invention. Let's see what the four cards I draw are. All right, draw four cards. Two cards, two more. One, two, three, four. We get Ned, Spider Grip, Trooper, Agent. All right, I play Spider Grip for two attack. I choose the two villains here that each get minus one this turn. So the Chitauri Weapon Assault is down to six. Boy, I'm going to get a lot of a lot of victory points, regardless of whether I win or lose. I've defeated almost everything. They get minus one this turn. I don't have a range to play. I'm at two. I can get three, four, five, eight from the other side. Um... 9, 10. You know what? I can hit the Mastermind. Here's how. Here's how. I figured it out. If I wall crawl homemade web shooters, I put them to the top. I play Endless Invention. I get to draw two cards. I'll go up to 3, 4, 5 with Danger Sense. I think there's a villain there. 6, 7, 8, and then I coordinate the left-hand side card. Let's see. Um, so I got, I got to uh, recruit first. So let's play two recruit. I think the next card's a villain. I can't recall exactly. I hope it is. Or is it a Master Strike? If it's a Master Strike, I'm in trouble. Because I need that attack. Unless Endless Invention draws another attack, then it won't be then it won't matter. I don't remember. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's go ahead and recruit homemade web shooters, wall crawl it to the top. And let's draw some cards. Now we'll Endless Invention. I really hope I'm right. Draw two cards. I draw Web Shooters and... I got an attack, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Good. Um, I play Homemade Web Shooters. Uh, for two more attack. Danger Sense 1, top part of the villain deck. Alright, it was a villain, so I get one more attack. I'm at 5. I play my two Troopers. 6, 7... I play Repulsor Rays, which gives me two more without it being activated. Eight, nine, and I'm going to have to coordinate. So I coordinate Friendly Neighborhood on the left-hand side, um, which means I discard it. I get three attack usable against the Mastermind or Villains in the Rooftops or Streets. I'm going to add it to my die here because I'm going to hit the Mastermind. So I'm at 12 effective attack here. I discard on the left. Left side is going to draw into uh, more Danger Sense. Nice. And that's a success. Two schemes in the beginning, same as Bagel. Oh, do you, did you play it too? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, I hit the Mastermind for a third time. Down to one attack. Winged Assault, put two Winged Assault wounds from under the HQ into each other player's discard pile. That's rough. Okay, uh, any standard wounds to give? I get to pick the wounds, so let's give up one standard on the left and a second standard on the left. That's going to hurt the draw. It is a fun setup, for sure. Okay. Two more hits in the Mastermind, I can win this. I have one attack left. I play... I haven't played a single Covert this turn, so Ned only gives me one Recruit. And I got two, three, 
four. So I can't take the Iron Man card that I wanted. So what I'm going to do is take a sidekick. Nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I guess you did say you did, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nice. Okay. I did not think I would hit the Mastermind on this side, but I did. But now, my really good Iron Man card is in the discard pile, along with all my other draw cards, so... Let's see if I can hit him two more times before the villain deck runs out. I'm not going to be able to avoid these Master Strikes forever. This one is a villain, though. Hybrid Alien Tech comes in. Hybrid Alien Tech. Striker, fight K, one of your zero-cost heroes with Striker. This is a seven attack. And these go back to normal. I didn't get to hit him, so... By the way. All right, can I get 11 attack? I got Danger Sense. Three, six... Eight, ten danger sense, but I don't think there's going to be that many villains. So, let's see how much attack I can get from danger sense. Uh, danger sense three. Or maybe I should play the targeting system first. Because I might be able to rearrange things. No, this is better. Danger sense three. Here we go. One, two, three. Top three cards. Come on, come on. Be good. Okay, that's rough. One attack. So this is what I'm talking about. When I run out of cards in the villain deck, Danger Sense becomes not as good. Um, so let's go... Yeah, let's put the twist in the bottom. Hellfire Colt on top. So that's only one. That's not great. Let's see if I can fix that. Heightened Senses. Uh, I get one more attack on the Danger Sense. Top card of my deck. Great responsibility. I draw it. Let's play Advanced Targeting System. Let's draw some more stuff. Uh, I draw two cards. One, two. All right, maybe I can get enough attack just as is, but probably not. I'm probably gonna be short. I'm at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna have enough. That's great. Good to know, good to know. Okay, how do I wanna play this out? I'm not doing any recruiting, so let's just draw. Let's just keep drawing. Here we go. One more attack. Top card of my deck. All right, something is happening. Danger Sense 4. I can get, I can rearrange the cards and get even more attack from Danger Sense. Here we go. And I can reshuffle if I want to, which I might not do. Danger Sense 4. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The top four. Oh, that is gross. I'm going to have to reshuffle this. One more attack. Although, if I do reshuffle, I could mess up hitting the Mastermind. Because, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine attack with no danger sense. If I shuffle this and I don't get any danger sense, I don't hit the Mastermind. That's the trouble here. There are, including these four, that's four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cards left. There is a decent chance that the top two or three cards will not be villains. So I think what I have to do, as unfortunate as it might be, is leave the villain deck just like this so I can guarantee I get enough danger sense to hit the mastermind this turn. I really don't want to, but I might have to. And a shuffle is no guarantee that I won't that I'll make the top four cards better anyway. Especially with the amount of cards left. So we're gonna leave it like it is. Because like I said, if the top cards top two cards aren't villains, I'm gonna end up with five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine attack, and that's not enough. So let's leave it as it is. Okay, trooper gives me a fifth card attack. Heightened senses. Although I will draw some cards, so that's let's leave it. Let's leave it. I can always rearrange the top two if I want. Let's line it up. Okay, one more attack for Danger Sense 2. I put a villain on top. And let's see what's on my deck. Here we go. Top part of my deck. Spider Grip. Sweet. So I draw it. I would draw it no matter what. I've got a tech card played first. The first card I played was uh, Recon Drone, which is tech. There it is. So I get I play Spider Grip to attack. I get to choose two villains to give minus one. I'm gonna choose Hellfire Cult and Tatari Weapon Assault. 
don't think I'm going to have that much leftover attack. Maybe I'll just be able to hit the Hellfire Call. If I have any. Okay. I play Homemade Web Shooter. Two more attack. Danger Sense 1. Gives me the attack I need. And that is enough to hit the Mastermind right there. So I could have hit the Mastermind anyway, but I didn't know that yet. But let's just go ahead and hit him right now. Okay, final tactic. Bird of Prey. Each other player discards a Spider-Man hero or discards two cards. Well, I have to discard Michelle or discard two other cards. I'm going to choose to discard two other cards. I'm going to do the wound, and two is not going to hit anything, so I'll discard the trooper. I'm just going to have a bust of a turn. I just got to hit him one more time. The bad news is I got Master Strikes coming, and he's going to get stronger because I didn't rearrange things. But even if I did, there's no guarantee it would have gotten better. Okay, what do I have left? Avenger in training. Two more attack. Danger Sense 1 gives me one more. I'm not going to fight the villain there. And I've got the other drone connection. So, Danger Sense 3 once again. Let me just peek at him once, one more time. I can't reshuffle, but... Um, yeah, Hellfire Cult on top for sure. Okay. I get one more attack. Why is this like this? It should be 7. I must have knocked it over. All right. While I can, let me go ahead and hit the Hellfire Cult for two. Hellfire Cult for two. Um, top card of my deck is a zero cost card. Get out of here, Wound. That was that was uh, lucky. So Hellfire Cult is gone. I mean, the robbers. My turn ends. If I can survive till next turn, I think I might be able to win this. All right, left hand's next turn, it looks like this. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Not the best, but I do have a couple of card draws, and I might be able to coordinate on the right-hand side, even though the right-hand side is going to have a bad turn. So, I don't know if I'm going to win this yet. It's going to be really close. I have to hit him one more time, probably for more than 11, because uh, he is going to get a couple of Master Strikes. Here we go, turn 30. This is the last villain. Uh, Hellfire Cult come in, the Bank Robbers. The Weapon Assault's back up to uh, 7. Not a lot of cards left in the villain deck. I can get a really unfortunate Scheme Twist Chain, too, that will make me lose. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. This could end uh, soon. If I can't win on the next turn, I might be in big trouble. Okay, I got four Recruit. I can fight any villain by using Recruit this turn. Those two Scheme Twists are really terrifying. I really wish I could have rearranged those. But I chose not to because I wouldn't have been able to hit the Mastermind, probably. And again, could have been a worse shuffle. Yeah, I, I can go through the entire villain deck and lose. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Anyway. Let's fight the Hellfire Cult for four recruit. Thanks to MJ. Top card of my deck. Oh, I get a reshuffle now. That's great. I'd rather reshuffle without these. Assuming I'll last... Until that turn, because when the villain deck runs out, the game's over, so I don't get to finish my turn. Unlike a normal game. Okay, top card on my deck. Is it the one wound that I have? It is. No, it's Spider Grip, so I get one recruit. So I spend three, I get one, so I'm at two, and the Hellfire Cult is gone. So I'll spend that two on a sidekick. Instead of any of these. Yeah. You get a sidekick. I don't know if I'm going to survive for another turn over here. I might. I just might. There's one more bystander in there, but still. Anything to coordinate? No. Not a great hand for the next turn. So, it's all going to come down to this. It all depends if these draws are true. Ah. <sighs> I get two draws, three draws, four draws. We'll see what I get. Okay, villain deck gives the here's the master strike. <laughs> so everybody gets a wound over here, and uh, I'll just show you. This is this is gonna this might be rough. Four more wounds, five more wounds go out. Avenger in training. Ned gets a wound. 
Heightened Senses gets a wound. Arc Reactor gets a wound. And Liz, who's been there this entire game, gets another wound. And Vulture gets stronger. He's up to 12. These two cards are up to 8 attack, thanks to their striker. Whew, okay. Thank you, Ashley. I needed that. This is... I have never had closer games, I'll tell you this much, than the MCU games I've played. If you've watched them along for these past several months, you'll know they get closer than any other game I play. You can get Avengers in training because it's a sure to attack. That is true. I can walk, I can draw it, or wall crawl it and draw it. That would give me up to um, two. Without the danger sense, though, that was two attack, three attack, four, five, six. Two draws. I just need to get six more attack from two draws. That's still a lot. I can see everything on my discard pile, though, and all my good cards are there. So, And I have four cards in my deck, and there's no wounds here. So I'm pretty sure I have, like, two wounds in my deck. And I only get to draw four cards. And there's four cards here, so I won't get to shuffle in, which is really unfortunate. So I don't think I'm going to have enough attack to hit the Mastermind this turn, which means I could lose to the big chain of Scheme Twist. Yeah, I can only draw my deck. I can't draw anything else. I, I know there's two wounds in here. And, oh, what about my uh, agents? I can figure that out right now. I think there's an agent left. So you know what? There's four cards here. I'm pretty sure two are wounds and one is an agent. That's really bad. Is there any way I can draw more? Again, if I do take Avenger in training, I'd rather not take Avenger in training because I'd rather cycle through to my other cards faster if I do have a shot, which I might not. Oh, man. Let's say I do. Let's say I recruit. Well, I'm going to have to play... Uh, I'm going to have to play Astonishing Strength first anyway, so I might as well do that now. Top card of my deck. Okay, there's Avenger in training. All right, there's one. There's three cards left, and again, I'm pretty sure because I didn't see them. I think these are two wounds and, a, and an agent because they're not in here, right? So that means if I do my three card draws, I'm going to get two wounds and an agent. But if I recruit Avenger in training, I wall crawl it. If I play Ned, but I have to, if I want to get extra recruit to maybe recruit something else, I'm going to have to play targeting system first, which means I won't get to draw two cards. But let's say I play Ned first. I play Ned first, I take Avenger in training, then I play targeting system, I draw two cards, I get two attack, I'm up to two, and then I draw a wound for the second card. I go up to, well, let's say I played Great Responsibility first. Three attack, I draw another wound. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I can only get eight. I could have coordinated that last turn. Um, which would have only gotten me to my reshuffle. Um, but I don't know if that would have done me much good. But uh, maybe. I really don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can hit the Mastermind this turn. So I'm going to leave Avenger in training where it is, just so I can get through this deck. I wish all this didn't get shuffled in, though. Yeah, by the way, if I look at the villain deck, there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. So I know from Danger Sense I got two Scheme Twists. So I play those, I play two more cards. Um, five of them are Scheme Twists. So I can survive if I play Twist, Twist, and then two cards that are not Twists. Anyway, let's let's play it through. Let's play it through. It's not my last turn, but well, let's see. I got I got four Twists left. Twist, 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 Twist. No, not yet. I play if I play four Twists. So that's um. Four more cards I gotta draw, right? Nope, that's two, four, six, eight, seven, six, five. I gotta play three more cards. One, two, three. So if I get a chain of four twists, 
I play seven cards, right? Which means there's one, two, three, four, five cards after that. So I think I'm okay, but... Let's keep going. Let's let's just go through. Let's just go. Let's let's go. I gotta finish this game. Let's just draw stuff. Here we go. Top card of my deck is that's what I thought it was a wound. Maybe I'll rest this turn and get rid of all my wounds. That might be something, and if I can survive. Um let's play Ned for one recruit so I can draw two cards with advanced targeting. Cost two or less, I draw it, and then I draw it. Yep, exactly what I thought. An agent and and two wounds. So that's all the draws I can do. Um, a third recruit. I've got uh, two more attack. Oh, nope, two more attack, not recruit. All Danger Sense one. The top card is a Scheme Twist, of course. Yeah, Rest is my best option because that's going to really set me up for a winning hand next time this comes around. I just wasn't sure if I had one more, two more turns, let alone one. What I do... And then Friendly Neighborhood, which I have no reason not to play. I get three attack towards Villains on the Rooftops or Street. So I can hit Chitauri Weapon Assault. Well, actually, I can't. I'm still short attack to hitting Chitauri Weapon Assault. And I can't rest if I do that. So I'm going to just have this. Uh, let's rest. Get rid of all the rest of my wounds. Cross my fingers and hope I survive. Discard everything I've got. No more wounds. A ton of Spideys. This might do it in the nick of time. What a stressful game, my goodness. Yeah, again, this happens a lot with my MCU games. So, either it's because it's late, I have fewer people, I don't know, participating or just off the cuff built really stressful setups, and I think that might be the case. You know what else? Else, um, Because Off the Cuff restricts the kind of support cards I can use. I can only use, for example, standard officers and sidekicks and a few special bystanders. I think that makes it a little tougher of a game. Uh, so I, I like that. Okay, next hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta coordinate Danger Sense 4. But we'll see. Here we go. Do we got a Scheme Twist Chain? If we get all the strikes, by the way, that's going to ramp up Vulture up to max. There's only one strike left. They need to mirror the films and capture the intense situation and plot twist them. Yes. He does a very good job. All right, let's do this. Turn 32. We get a scheme twist. We'll play him in order right here. Followed by a... Get You guessed it. Actually, here's a, I should play two cards first. Uh, the scheme is play two cards in the villain deck. So I play a Scheme Twist and Shocker. Ooh, it stops. No, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. First, I do a Scheme Twist. I got to play two more cards in the villain deck. Um, and then Shocker resolves, I think. So two more cards in the villain deck. Here we go. Master Strike and Scheme Twist. So Shocker's going to go in, I think. And then the Master Strike's going to happen. <laughs> Then we have to resolve this scheme twist. Running out of running out of cards. Let's do the master strike and the second scheme twist to draw two more play two more cards to the villain deck. Okay, gotta do this. I knew the chain was gonna happen. We got one more master strike to play. Uh, wound. 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 And finally, wound. A lot of wounds out here. And he gets stronger. He is at max attack. 13 attack. Max striker. Everybody's got max striker. That sounds like an amazing name, but a terrible mechanic right now because I'm losing to max striker. Okay. Now I got another scheme twist to play. Which again, means play two cards in the villain deck, so I have to do that. Here we go. Shocker 2. Scheme twist. We're, we're getting the max chain. We're getting the max chain, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Shocker 2 comes in. Oh, he has an ambush effect. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta do this one at a time. Before we play the last scheme twist. That's the last one, by the way. Thank goodness. But still, that's lots of cards. Each player reveals their hand and discards all cards with the same card name as the card in the HQ. 
That's bad. Avenger in training, Ned, heightened senses, arc reactor lives. Nothing here. Avenger in training gets discarded. Heightened senses gets discarded. That is not good. Okay. Now we got a scheme twist to play. Two more cards in the villain deck. Right? We got Razor Talons and Shocker 2 again. Which doesn't do anything this second time. Okay, we do have an escape though. Alright, which means wounds have to get passed out, unfortunately. So Razor Talons comes in. And then Shocker 2 is going to come in. So, the Chitari Weapon Assault, each player discards the card with the Recruit icon. Okay, uh, Shield Agent gets discarded. Left side loses another Shield Agent. And uh, that is an escape. What a chain. Couldn't put it off for long. Alright, I gotta do a KO, and I gotta pass over a wound. Or, yeah, just one. No matter what I do, it's gonna KO something and pass a one wound. So, it, that's rough. Ned, you failed me. I'm going to go ahead and KO Ned. One KO. The villain's escape goes up to two, by the way. This wound goes to the left-hand side. Replaced with... Another Avenger in training. Which might help me. Maybe, maybe not. And then finally, Shocker comes into the city. This happens again. Uh, I already discarded all my Avengers in training, so... That doesn't do anything. And that's the end of that annoying chain. So, there are three cards left in the villain deck, so I have two more turns before I lose. The third turn I lose as soon as that card is played. Um, luckily, no more twists. I've played them all. So, we'll see if I can clinch the win and get 13 attack in three in two turns. This turn and the next two. Yeah, we're at nine attack. We're at eight attack on this card. Uh, Razor Talents also has Striker. So we're at seven, and then we're at Shocker is not, does not have Striker. Okay, let's see what I can do. I have two, four, six attack. I have a card to coordinate. Danger Sense four. Which could give me ten attack, or total of ten attack. That's not enough. But since I have two great responsibilities, maybe I should hold on to something that's happening. I only have three cards in my hand on the left-hand side this time. Unfortunately, I won't survive. Um, yeah, I only have three cards in the deck. So, left hand gets a turn. Right hand gets a turn. This is the left hand's last turn. And that really hurts. So, all I've got here, I got two attack. Two attack, four attack, six attack, one recruit. So if I if I use something as happening right now, there's one bystander. There's only three cards in here, and I'm pretty sure one of them is a bystander. So I think I have a max of two danger sense left. So the most I could get if I coordinated was 8 attack. So maybe I leave this for the left hand just in case that 1 or 2 attack I'm going to get will help me. Because I'm going, if I guess I get 2, I'll get 4 attack plus 2 card draws. That's not enough. Oh man, I don't know. This this might be it. Well, let's, let's hold on to something that's happening. I don't think I want to coordinate that. I think I'd rather use it. Cross my fingers and hope this is a bystander so I get Danger Sense 2 at least. I could hit something to prevent an escape. I could hit Shocker. So let's hit Shocker. Number two. His fight effect is nothing. So we're going to hit him. For five. That's all I can do this turn. Okay. Man, those... If I had two Avengers in training, I would be fine. But I had to discard them. Two... Three, four, five, six. Ooh, I don't have the rare Iron Man, but I could draw into it. We gotta move on. Uh, 
Okay. Is this the bystander? It is the bystander. All right. So it looks like I do have danger sense too. This is my last shot. I'm going to play something is happening. Danger sense four. Last two cards in the villain deck. Two villains. Like I thought. Uh, we're going to put the goons on top. Danger sense two. Any coordinate on the right hand side? Uh, no, I don't. I only have two draws. Let's go. Top card of my deck is Avenger in Training. Okay. So I'll play Avenger in Training. That's going to give me 4, 5, 6 attack. I get 7. I have to draw a card that's going to somehow give me a ton of attack, and I don't think I can. Um, do I want to fight Magia Goons? No. All they're going to do is give me a KO. So I gotta see. I don't know. I could get into a draw chain, but probably not. All right, great responsibility. One more attack. Top card of my deck is. Okay, I've got one more draw. See if the Spidey deck does what it's supposed to do. Danger Sense Two gives me two more attack. Nine. Close. And let's see. Top card of my deck is. Oh shoot! It's gonna end there. That's where it ends. I'm at ten attack. It stopped. Yeah, if I if I didn't if Shocker didn't do his ambush, that would have done it. But uh, I have one more turn after this, but I don't think this is gonna cut it. But I could draw into something good, and I might get a coordinate card. So it's not totally over, but yeah, not this turn. All right, well, I might as well fight something, right? Any fight effects that'll help me? KO a hero. Wall crawl somebody. Yeah, right? Oh, this is rough. This is rough. I, I'm just going to fight the alien tech. Yeah, what a thrilling turn for me. All right. Um, I will KO the trooper in a blast of revenge. And uh, hybrid alien tech is gone for nine. And that's this turn. So we'll see what I get. Do I draw a coordinate card? Here we go. One, two, three, four. These all would have been better cards. Oh, I did get it. That's plus three. That's plus three. I don't think I'll have enough. We'll see what I get to draw. So if I can get ten attack on the right-hand side. Coordinate what for the other hand? What are you talking about? I would discard it at the end of this turn so I couldn't coordinate it anyway. I drew Friendly Neighborhood, though. I would have had to go back two turns, which uh, I decided to keep it because I wouldn't I wasn't going to get the attack anyway. Um, I will get some card draws. Can I draw into 10 attack? I don't think this deck is capable of that, but maybe it is. We'll find out. All right. Starting with the first Endless Invention. Draw a card. I draw. Homemade Web Shooters. Okay. We'll see. I get to draw two cards now. Second Endless Invention. Here we go. Draw two cards. One, two. All right, a sidekick. Okay. That means this last card must be the Iron Man rare. But do I have enough for 10 attack? I don't know. I've got homemade web shooters, which will give me three attack. Then I have four. I need six attack with four card draws from that Iron Man. I might get it. I might get it. My discard pile. Do I have six attack on my discard pile? I've got two, three, four, five, two, three, one, two, three, four. Ooh, it's, there is a chance I could win this turn, but I have to draw perfectly. Anyway, I got two attack here. Danger Sense 1 reveals the last villain. So I got three attack total. I have the card to coordinate. So I need seven more attack. Let's go. I'll play the sidekick. Which is going to draw two cards. The first one is Quantum Breakthrough. Which means I get to draw a total of five cards now. One for the second card from the sidekick. And then four from Quantum Breakthrough. Can I get ten attack total with those five cards? It is possible. I do have the cards, but I do have to draw them. This is the very last turn I could win the game. Give me something good. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. I'll play the trooper right now just so I know what I need. I need six attack with four cards. Can I get it? 
Quantum Breakthrough. Let's go. Come on, Tony. Save the day. One attack. Three attack. Five attack. Last card is... Not quite, but it can get me there. Okay, that's even better. Whew, I might be able to win this. Let's play it all. I wish I had a range to trigger this, but I don't. We'll play Spider Grip. Two more attack. Up to seven. I guess I'll choose these two villains, but I won't even worry about that. Um, I'll play the sidekick first. I don't think I have another range, but just in case. Can I wall crawl something first to guarantee it? I can. I can do a wall crawl and guarantee it. Yeah. Let's do it. Shield officer. I'll play the shield officer for two recruit. I'll, I can win this turn. Oh, thank goodness for wall crawl. All right. I will take Avenger in training. Wall crawl it just to make it a sure thing. Wow. 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 I pass a wound over. I play the sidekick. In retrospect, I should have done that already, but that's fine. I play the sidekick. I draw. Avenger in training. And a shield trooper. That would have done it anyway. I'm at 8. Um, I'm at 10. I'm at 12. And I end by coordinating friendly neighborhood from the left-hand side. Three more attack against the mastermind. My gosh. So, hold on. I have two remaining. I'm going to end my turn by getting... Uh, do I have to play any, any coverts? No, I get one, two, three. I have three recruit. Um, no, I can't even bribe the Magi. It's fine. Uh, we hit the mastermind for 13. <laughs> Woo! Saved by a coordinate. And on the very last possible action I possibly could have taken here, Vulture is taken out, and we eked out a victory, just barely. At the stroke of 12.32 a.m., what a game that was. I did not think I was going to... Iron Man swooped at the last minute and saved the day because if I hadn't drawn the cards I drew, what I should have done is I should have wall crawled this before I, uh, actually, did I have the recruit to do that before I wall crawled or before I played Quantum Breakthrough? I don't know. I think I did. Anyway, it worked out. What an ending. Wow. Wow. I'm glad you guys are here for that ending. Anybody missed, who missed it missed out big time. So, whew. That could not have gone more thrillingly. Yeah, the last card in the deck was... Uh, turbine powered and as soon as the left hand started their turn this would have been played and the game would have been over Wow, okay, let's figure out what the VP was but Let me go ahead and give you your rewards for having confidence I'm sure you guys were uh, gritting your teeth there at the end, but sorry off the cuff you almost won But thank you for the setup. It was a win Just barely. I hope nobody watches this back on YouTube and is like, oh, well you did this illegal thing that didn't count For all intents and purposes. I feel like when people are watching if nobody saw it it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and pat, uh, count the VP. If I'm recording on my own and upload it, that's different. But if nobody saw it, I can let it slide. Okay, here we go. VP on the right-hand side with the Mastermind card is 6, 9, 10, 17. Yep. Nope, I don't know how to count. One more time. <laughs> 6, sorry, it's late. 9, 10, 16, 17, 19, 22, 23, 24, 25 on the right. Stick around. We're going to go raid somebody for more channel points. What did I say it was? I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, 15, 16, 19, 25. So 25 on the right. On the Iron Man side. Left hand side was 4, 5, 11, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 32, 38, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 on the left. Having the Magi Goons with Bribe saved me here, just barely. 80 points is pretty good for getting to the end of the deck. Thank you guys for watching this. What an exciting game this was. I appreciate you all. I will see you back here on Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific for randomizer number 68. And we're going to find out if anybody did decently well on 
Spider Queen's Fragmented Realities. It is one of the least popular setups so far, and I do not blame you. I can't wait to find out exactly what you said about it. I hope there's things I can read on the stream. I hope it's not that bad. But uh, let's go find somebody playing board games. If there's anybody playing board games this evening, I'm going to the end screen. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to rewatch this movie probably. Uh, okay, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. What a game that was. Let's go do a raid.